that not as the last message on it um let me just thank my team thank my team in the 30 seconds isla loness a brilliant job carla batisti matt thornton finley knowles and george yanikis uh, they are a great team doing work um of course uh coming out we've got uh james well and leash i'll be with you tomorrow with our faith panel it'll be mother's day so i'm going to be talking uh mental health about what it's like to be a mother uh, all that and a lot lot more i'll see you bye this is talk tv This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Oi, right, oi, oi, treat girl. Having a conversation with a professional journalist, he chose to belittle her, diminish her, um, and use sexist language. I can't stand the word casual sexism. There's nothing casual about igniting and using kind of diminishing and belittling language about anyone, especially someone who's trying to do her job. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. And when the media constantly refer to trans criminals, when they are biological men as women, we will no longer put up with these lies about our gender anymore and about our sex. Trans woman is not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. I, that's robust. It's going to cause a, an argument. It's going to cause tension. But we've got to do it, because otherwise this country is going down the pan. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying, um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. One parent commented on a review of Peppa Pig that their daughter had begun to lash out since watching the show and added that Peppa is rude, bossy, a liar, tattletale and even more. Say it's not so. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh. It's carry on. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Whoa, it. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know what's uh, I know what's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans. Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> just for, minutes, for, Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, you put him in an ice cream store. And once you get defeated by a guy named Begley, that's <laughs> it. You retire from politics, and you speak to Rosanna on primetime and have a lot more fun. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, had lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. They're now trying to say, hey, we've got a really clever idea for the cost of living crisis. Right. Eat cereal for dinner. But for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist did to fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed it was another era. That. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth.
Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on talk TV and radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here following me around with a cow. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on talk TV. Uh, right, I think it's time for us to start. Everything's falling apart. Whoever was in this uh, studio before me, I'm going to find out, and you're going to get such a... Well, turning, who was it? Let's find out. Off. I don't know. Trisha, Trisha? Right. Trisha, right. Trisha, right. You're in trouble, Trisha. You know, nobody's tidied it up. Who put the... Who, who you can't taped, expect Trisha to tie it no, no, of course not. Who taped the... Um, ties all over the place. Who taped this on badly, so it's all over the place, with a bit of bloody oh, sellotape. Mark, tape. that was. Mark, Mark yeah. you Mark. are on your last chance. You've ruined the start of the I'm show. I'm fed up Mark. with it. Now, listen, first, before we go, we've got loads of guests on tonight, lots of top stories to talk about. Uh, really want to have a go at that ridiculous, stupid woman who uh, cut up the picture do you, uh, over in Cambridge. She should get 20 years. She should get 20 years, if not more. And 15 yeah. for good behaviour. Um, so, if you're easily offended, and apparently some people are, you know, you can ring Ofcom, you can ring anyone you like. No, I don't, don't just come to us. Don't no, no, I don't someone care. else. Deal, if we'll you deal are easily upset by people who are not lovely and polite, don't watch this programme. There we are. Look at that. She should be... She's apparently from some organisation called Palestine Action, and mm. she has now ruined a piece of art, and she needs, quite frankly, I'd lock her up for ten years on bread and water. And if you, uh, I'd give her ten I mean, years. That's very liberal. Yeah, of ten, you. Years. ten years. I'd like to give her a good thrashing. You know, not me personally. I'd like to give anybody who does that. You can't do that anymore. Bring back corporal punishment. Never mind capital punishment. Bring back corporal punishment, and we might do better. So we're having a sensible, serious debate tonight. If you're easily offended then go somewhere else. This is not a woke programme. We don't actually sit here and want to be... Uh, There's I don't the know, number, by the way. I don't know what he does. Um, so for those of you... This is what on, I do. I point at the number. Yeah, I'm very good at it. You are. Uh, so those are... And, uh, I keep seeing that picture on other screens of that ridiculous person ripping up that no, picture. Quite... Spray. She first of all sprays it. Can we put the picture back? She first of all sprays it... Yeah. Then she cuts it up with a knife. She's indecisive. I mean, she so, ruined it with a knife. Why paint it? What is the... I'm sorry if you're listening on talk radio tonight. Uh, we're showing a picture on uh, talk television. And uh, this woman is just... just uh, Palestine, what do they call themselves? I don't know. Why, don't when know. people are asking for peace, do they cause so much nastiness? Why, when, yeah. when people go marching through the towns and cities of this nation... Do they actually what gives them the right to destroy things for other so people? So badly. Because they decided. I agree. Thing. I totally agree. So let's, let's kick it off tonight with phone calls. Of course, that's my favourite bit. I want lots of calls. If you're boring, you won't last very long. Um, and if you want to call now, for those of you listening on Talk Radio, it's 0344 499 1000. And, uh, There's a number. Yep. Write it down I, so we don't have to keep putting it on the screen. It, it, it's not who I think it is, is it? I hope not. Uh, Ken in Warwickshire. Ken, you're on the air. Good evening. Hello. Um, I would just like to say, um, I was looking at a, a clip on YouTube. And, uh, it, was, it was in Dublin. Yeah? Get to um, the point, Ken. I'm getting bored already. Right, what do you okay. want to say? These two, these two Irish guys were walking through Dublin. And is this these a joke? Hung... Are you making no. a joke, Ken? Is that what you're talking two about? two Irish guys. No. Oh. What no, are you talking about, Ken? What are you shushing right, me? Right, do I have, do I have, they hung a um, Palestine flag. Oh, go away, Wait. Ken. You're so not there's right two Irish men. No, 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 no. Thank you. I wanted to hear the punchline. Bye, Ken. Will you stop it? I couldn't hear a bloody word he was Wait, saying. because it's a joke. I, I've got to the end with you today. What do you mean we've only just started? I've got started? to the end to, we've only today. We've started the show. There have been so many complaints about you, I'm going to get rid of you. A thief, not a thief. There's a lot of a thief thieves in Birmingham. Is in Birmingham. Don't bring that, Mark. I don't want it anymore. You gave it to other people. And if I want it's something, soiled, Mark, I'll man. ask you for it. I'm so sorry. Well, well, it might sound rude. <laughs> well, it is soiled, that is our, it, the voice of our producer, Chuck Thomas. Oh, they can't hear that. <laughs> well, I can, too loudly. Uh, a thief in Birmingham, what can we do for you? Good evening, sir. Yes, hello there. I just wanted to ask a question. I just wanted to know why there isn't any Chinese Jews. I have the answer, but I'd like you to answer that question, because I've never were. met any Chinese Jews. Will you be Jews? quiet for a minute? No, I thought there were Chinese Just Jews. be quiet. Why were there no Chinese and Jews? Chinese Jews, I tell you what. Oh, Chinese are... Jews, I see yeah. what you mean. We went to that Jewish-Chinese restaurant. Yeah, of course it was the really good. Now, the reason why there isn't any... You're talking rubbish. Bye-bye, Afif. Thank you very much. 
Is he going to tell? Is, is this another it? joke? Like the two Irishmen and okay. the Palestinians? No. Yeah. Uh, Barry in Norwich. Hello, Barry. Good evening to you. We get rid of the, you know, Good morning. Just Barry. Comment on that, uh, comment on that uh, girl vandalising that patent. A and one, she's probably where Palestine is. B and two, why has she not been marched up by the police? I don't know. Then, I really don't know. Has she not been arrested? She must no. have been Really? I don't think so. She must have been. That's criminal damage. Mm. And she should be made to pay for the patent. Well, it's thousands of pounds worth. Tens answer, of yeah, pounds. answer me this, though, uh, Barry. Why are so many of our younger people, not all, but so many of our younger people today so bloody thick? Why? <laughs> Why? That's the school. Well, they're like toddlers it, as well, yeah. aren't they? Uh, and, school you know, they and, uh, unfortunately, Parents. universities. Parents. And home as well. It's yeah. at home. Yeah. Do you agree with me? Yeah. We talked about it last week, and I got, I got quite a lot of complaints, I must admit. But, you know, if I want to, to, to uh, rescue a dog, um, which I quite often do... Um, you have to answer questions, prove that you're a capable person. Why can you have a child, another human being, without proving that you are capable of <clears throat> doing it? Why? Well, I, 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 I couldn't answer that question. I don't know. But do you because agree I with me? Think, I, I, I do agree with you. There are stuff. I, I will say this. Every child deserves parents. Not every parent deserves children. That is, wow, I remember man. that. Yeah, that is man. Real, That's beautiful, really man. good. Yeah. Yep. I've got hiccups. But you're right, they're like That's toddlers so rolling around the floor because they're not getting their way. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I'm, yeah, I'm with you on that, James. Nice one. Yeah. Uh, Barry, nice. good. Thank you very much. And you might as well just You find up, the wisdom mainly uh, from Jill that. Jill is in, uh, where's that? Cornwall. Cornwall. Yes, Jill, good evening. Good evening to you two. Jill, what can we do for you? Sorry, I don't, well, I'm just rushing getting a few calls on before we go to something sensible or not, maybe. No, don't have anything sensible. Stay no, as you are, for yeah. goodness sake. It's yeah. really Thank good. You. Look, I, I am sick of sick, sick to the back teeth of watching these people destroy things. They should make these people pay. They, they need to make these people pay. There was a time where um, going to prison or getting a, a prison sentence was a deterrent and stopped people from breaking the law. Now, because there's no justice in this country, no um, payment for the crimes that you commit, um, people will just do what they want and get away with it. Well, they, did, and, um, you I agree. they locked up the people on the bridge for a good three mm. or four years. That was quite a good sentence, so maybe they will do that. Well, I hope they do, um, but I don't think it's a good enough sentence. Sentence. I think Jill will adjust. But no one did it again. No one blocked the me. bridge again. But why don't we bring back the birch? That will be good. Mm. Let's bring back yes. the birch. Yes. Well, Sorry. The, the, the trouble is what? that parenting has gone up the tube mm. as well. I'm sorry, yeah. but parents... Well, and schooling, there's parents. no punishment at Sorry, school, Jill, could you explain for our younger listeners who probably <laughs> need... What the... You didn't know, you stupid oh, young tech man. Tech only 11 <laughs> and he doesn't the know. Tech Ops 12, I Why don't we actually the demonstrate it with the to wood him? On it. Why don't we actually demonstrate it to him? Yeah, why don't we get a bird... <laughs> and a cat. <laughs> and bring him in. What, what, tell our... <laughs> that's it, that's it. What no, it's meant to be bare buttocks. What a birch it yeah. is. <laughs> a good good slap across the backside um, mm. with a, a, a piece of... With a ruler... Um, my dad used to use the um, um, uh, a bamboo uh, stick that used can to... I just, sorry, can, I just in, in, now, in, yeah. can I just interject something? Mm -hmm. Could you in the control room stop talking... You, Al, you lot, stop talking to people who come in the control room. I know it's by George, he's coming on later, but you lot concentrate, or I'm going to say one of the rudest words you've ever heard, and that'll get you all sacked. Right? So your dad gave you the cane? <laughs> Your dad gave you the well, cane. We well, had no, a bamboo I, stick. I, That's the cane. If I didn't, if I didn't behave myself, I got a slap across the backside. With a bamboo um, stick. With with the well, it, Slipper. Had, it was a feather feather duster. <laughs> that, that like Ken Dunn. Feather, Ooh, feather duster. duster. Ooh. Yeah. I hope it. <laughs> and it was a I hope it wasn't the feather in. Um, yes, Jill. Thank you very much indeed for that. I agree with you totally. Which is uh, that would encourage unusual, you. Yeah. Uh, Steve's in Derby. Bottom. Steve, good evening to you. Hello, James. I'm, uh, I'm really sick of when you watch these sort of protests and things on TV, uh, you know, the, 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 the anti-Jewish protests. It's always, it's like today I saw one, it's always, uh, there's loads and loads of white middle class people draped in, his, in their Palestinian flags. Uh, 
you know, uh, condemning Israel and and hating Israel. And, and it, why, why is that, do you think, James? Because they're uneducated and stupid. Uh, thank you for that. Very good to talk to you, Sue. Let's talk to Paul in Liverpool. Paul, good evening. Paul. I'm, I'm not Liverpool. You're not. You're not Paul. Have you? Who do you? I'm, who I'm do you Paul, identify as Liverpool. now? Hang on, just a minute. Will you shut the? Where well, he flip says up. he's not Paul. <laughs> who is taking the calls? What's her name? <laughs> Isla. Concentrate. I'm in it. I'm not joking. I mean it. He's only joking. I'm not having all these people working around without the anything to do. See, Chuck, the producer, could what, take the calls. What, what, That'll be what dead easy. No, don't put her on about. the hold air. On, hold on, Paul. No, don't, don't. Hey. It's Paul in Liverpool. Get back and concentrate on what you're doing. Seriously, don't <laughs> listen to him. Joking. Don't worry. I'm don't. the Paul executive. No. Yeah, right, you're Paul. Paul in Liverpool. I'm Paul. No, no not from Liverpool. I'm from Cambridge. It says Liverpool. Where are you from, Paul? Cambridge. He's moved to Cambridge. You, you move very Cambridge, fast. Okay. He moves fast. <laughs> uh, Paul. <laughs> right. I never lived in Liverpool in my life. Well, maybe I'm it's a saying premonition. nothing. I maybe am saying nothing. But when, when, when you're, talking, you're talking about children coming out of school and being six or two sh short planks, didn't it? Mm -hmm. The reason is because the teachers who are teaching them have never been out of school. That is a very good point. I think our teaching well, profession... Say that again. No, he's right. He says the I teachers who are teaching them left school, went to university, another school, then get a job as a teacher, go back, and they've never had any... Uh, like MPs, life no life yeah, experience. Yeah. They've never been engineers or... or and now we, now we live in this woke society where, unlike me, you can't shout at people who work for you because they go yeah. running off in tears to HR. What's it like with all the students in Cambridge? You must get uh, loads of... Like, I am the HR department for this programme, by the way. And Ofcom. We'll deal with any Ofcom stuff. Yep. Don't bother Ofcom. with the actual Ofcom. Ofcom. I mean, you know, we are, no. the, we are the people, but uh, yes. Yeah, but they're also talking about kids having no mobile phones at school, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I think that's a very good idea, but no, what no. we need to do is yes, learn but, to yes, live but, yes, but, with the yes, internet. Let me, just, let me answer... We I'll decide asked, whether you can ask answer. Anything. Vapes. Hey, vapes. Bath. He's asking himself the question. I don't know. Yeah. What about what? Vapes. Thanks. Vapes. Vapes. Oh, vapes. 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 Yeah, you go to Not school tapes, now. Vapes, you, you go to uh, outside schools, and all the kids have got vapes. But yeah. vapes would have stopped me actually starting fags, so it actually would have been a good thing, wouldn't it? In some way. I think yeah, vapes are just you're, as you're, bad. You're, you're an old yeah. man, aren't you? No, but yeah. they're not as bad. I mean, medical they, people. They will don't say, know medical change in medical that? history. Who knows that? Yeah, the he doctors knows. say ninety-five percent are most that. likely not as bad. He's addicted. He, he no, won't. That is, that he is what addicted. the NHS say. They do recommend well, I wouldn't not smoking. Listen to fags. much the NHS says. Well, that's true. But I agree with you, Paul. Thank you for that. Uh, thank you for that. Alan's in Ipswich. Alan, good evening. Sam, mate. Good evening, James. Good evening, Ash. The Alan yes, Jay Alan. Show. It is indeed. I have one question, James. Has the person been arrested for this crime yet? Because I actually found it and reported it to the police. They're going to get back to me, but we don't know if she's been arrested well, yet. Well, how do we know? We're not how the police. How do we know? Well, you can put it out there and ask if anybody we'll else just call knows. the police back and ask them. Why have you asked? What? I mean, did you see it happen then? Well, no, I saw it on Twitter and it's so outrageous. So you're just a busybody. I, I hope somebody who was actually there called the police, not just well, somebody helping Britain. watching X. You know, it's not Twitter anymore, don't you? Well, yes, I do know, but I still call it that. Well, don't. <laughs> I have enough trouble with you. Well, you wouldn't like it if we called you Richard and said that's the new name for Alan and it's and everyone I think, called you. Well, I do have six Christmas. Well, maybe you would. I think I think we should. Uh, I think we should call him Dick. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh <-huh>. you. <laughs> you know why Richard? <laughs> Indeed, but can, we don't know if she's been arrested yet. Well, we know that. We still well, don't we know. didn't say we knew. We said uh, this woman should be locked up for a long time. Yeah. Personally, I'd like to see corporal punishment brought back for these sort so, of so idiots. Would I. Um, and by the ah! way, the guy, the guy who runs these uh, protests is called Ben Jamal, who's a white, older British bloke. Really? OK, yeah. I don't see what the colour of their skin has to do, but I'm sure you must. Uh, right, thanks, Alan. Uh, let's talk to... Who did that? OK, let's take a short break. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And you're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't Talk. gonna have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Oi, oi, treat girl. 
When JK Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. And I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, listen. <laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, know what's, I know what's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> just, 40 yeah. minutes, 40... Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, t when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail her. We're supposed to, supposed to was have moved on from era. that. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. That's not hate speech. That's like speech. Shut up a minute, Ash. What? Oh, we're back. We're back. Action. Yeah. Uh, for, right. That we're is back. your last warning. You That's didn't it. even say to me well, five I knew, seconds I knew or whatever. It was back, you know. And I'm sitting Nobody talking knew. about something completely different. Anything later. could have happened. Uh, right. In London today, uh, you know, we have these uh, appalling marches every week, which annoy me. I'm sorry. The hate marches. Uh, according, yeah, they are hate marches. This isn't going to do any good. This government, like every other government in the world, sensible, serious government, have said we would like to see peace uh, between Israel and the West Bank and Gaza. We want yeah. to see peace. We want to see Palestinians and uh, Jews living and Arabs living. Hostages released, living, obviously. Hostages first. released. Um, nobody is... Uh, if I hear another lunatic going on, oh, you're a genocide enabler. I mean, I, what is wrong with these people? Have a look at this. What on earth these people think they're going to do or achieve, I have no idea. Uh, let's talk to uh, Omar Bada, who is a political activist. Omar, good evening to you. Welcome to the show. What do these people hope they're going to do? Well, I could not make out, actually, I did not have audio for that particular segment, but I imagine the people marching um, for Palestinian human rights and against the onslaught in Gaza hope to get an end to this massacre that has been unfolding now for month after month. Well, they were shouting intifada, intifada, that's what they were shouting. Yeah, the word intifada means uprising, it means shaking off, and that word in itself has been demonized uh, in a way that I think has been quite absurd and taken out of context. Uh, we'll remember that the first intifada is one in which Palestinians were primarily throwing rocks 
at a foreign occupation army that is existing on top of their land and robbing them of their basic humanity yeah. and their fundamental right to freedom. Yeah. And I think that that when, is um, when, when do you think Hamas are going to release what is left of the hostages? Do you think they're frightened to release them because of the way they've been treated? No, they've released many hostages already. They haven't released many hostages. They, they they have already. There's already been... Uh, no, they haven't. There are at least 100 left. I understand that, but that does not change the fact that they have already released many hostages in the past. Yeah. No, but his and point was that they haven't released the women because they're worried that they've been raped and they're continually no, being raped, like the UN have said the other night. All right, okay, just they've actually minute. released many women as well, and that yeah. also has... Been not the ones being raped, though. They don't want them coming out and saying that they've yeah. been raped. They probably may not ever get Hang out. On, can we just, I want to try and get really... this whole thing sorted out. Can you yeah. promise, then, if there is a, a, a ceasefire tomorrow, uh, that Hamas will stop? bombing israel can you promise that will happen if there is a ceasefire if there's going to be on, a ceasefire what, tomorrow the hostages. yeah on what basis can i make a promise of well, i don't know you, everybody's observer. asking uh, uh countries like america and britain uh ceasefire now so i'm mm. asking you no look when it comes to a ceasefire it's quite obvious what is the fundamental driving cause of this violence that has existed even before hamas came into being the fundamental reality is that as long as Israel controls millions of Palestinians and denies them their freedom, <laughs> we're going to be stuck in a cycle in which violence yeah. is going to break out every once in a while until yeah. that fundamental driving cause is I resolved. See. So it's acceptable. With a ceasefire right it, now, okay, all right, all right. I think we can get a deal so, in which we exchange hostages. Well, I must don't want a deal. Minute, they said they don't want to cease, so I don't want to do Will it again you and again shut and again. Up or I'll so have to get you to leave. They don't want to cease. Fine. Sorry, he's a bit carried away because. Well, of I'm just saying what's happening. I mean, that's all. Do you think then uh, it was acceptable for uh, Hamas to do what they did on October the seventh? Are you quite happy with that? What would you say about it? Oh, look, I mean, obviously... Are you quite happy with that? What would you say I'm, about I'm, it? I'm about... I'm, I'm actually trying to answer you if you'd good, let me speak. Good, good, good. Had it been an attack exclusively on Israeli soldiers who are besieging Gaza and denying Palestinians freedom there, there may have been an argument for it being legitimate armed resistance. But because it also included an attack on Israeli civilians, that is completely indefensible and illegitimate, and therefore, I don't think anybody can actually defend that. Nonetheless, the scale of Israeli terrorism against Palestinians dwarfs anything that Hamas has ever done, including the October 7th attack. We've seen successive... Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, but you are talking rubbish. You're talking rubbish. A terrorist organisation that hides in hospitals, hides in schools, hides behind... And I have, I have much sympathy for Palestinian people. They're, they're being held in the middle while these, these miserable excuses for human beings actually uh, shoot at troops yeah. who are trying to clear out the people who are causing trouble. And, the, and Israel would love to go back to being peaceful. But whilst it has people going, we want to see the end of Israel, from the river to the sea, and all of this... You're never going to get there. So why don't people start behaving? If you think that Israel is interested in going back to being peaceful, then you've not been paying attention for the past several decades. You can say the same about don't, Hamas. Don't, hang you? on, just a minute. Don't you actually speak to me in that way? You are the most condescending people or person I've spoken to for a while. My friend Ash is Jewish. He gets picked on regularly. People actually oh, no, seem well, to well. Let's talk on the Twitter, truth. maybe. Are you, you know, are you? Are you? How is that relevant exactly to anything? It's that we're relevant about? exactly because you go on and on about how the Jewish people are terrible and they do this terribly. They uh, would do nothing yeah, if you got if you got those idiots Hamas actually yeah. to stop doing it. And people like you who call themselves political commentators, you're just a stirrer, to be honest. Yeah. But if you're a political Frankly, commentator, why can't you get them to see the error of their ways? I suppose if you have a head of lettuce inside your skull instead of a brain, you might infer that I'm attacking Jewish people right now. But you're a smart guy, James, and I know that you don't... You know, think that you're finished. Right now, you're finished. Speaking, speaking uh, uh, yeah, quite you know, frankly... You've if, not mentioned the word genocide. Word you, you know, you've not mentioned... You, do you, you think what's going on in, uh, in, in Gaza is genocide? I think Israel is engaged in genocidal violence, absolutely. When you look, there's no denying it. They're starving hundreds there of thousands. There is no denying people. it, isn't it? Because they could actually children. end the whole civilian uh, population in about I've five days, couldn't they? Death. Don't Frankly, be silly. I mean, it's terrible that people are being killed. It's the terrible that people are dying. Are you paying any army? attention to anything that the Israeli... It's the lowest proportion of any modern army of innocent people being killed. What you have in Gaza is you're a situation... You're just going to ignore that very relevant point that proves you're totally wrong. Israeli officials have stated 
that what they're doing is an assault on the Palestinian civilian population. Yeah, you're avoiding that point. They, 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 they have with the Hamas that. figures. It's one and a half or two, two to one, which is from unbelievable. From Yahoo invoking the Amalek. So, from the Bible, ask a question here, be quiet. Was it genocide when Britain bombed the hell out of Dresden? Was that genocide? Because the majority of people were... Uh, were, were not military. Or even Iraq. It's, we killed a lot more proportion. It certainly was a war crime. There is no question about that. It's indefensible and, and illegitimate. We have moved right now several decades since then in which we have laws of war in which we avoid civilian Terrorists casualties. don't obey we laws of war. war. Israel do obey them. I mean, are, are Britain, were Britain committing war crime in Iraq because they killed a lot more innocent people proportionately than Israel are doing? No. Well, you're wrong about the proportion. No, I'm not. I'm right. I'm bang on. You're, you're definitely not correct. Definitely okay, correct. hang on. What are the, the figures rate, then? If you know the figures better, what are they? Even using Hamas so here's, figures. Here's the figure that I do know. The rate of the killing of Palestinian civilians in Gaza is unprecedented. So in you decades. don't know what they're you're talking time, about. The, the last Israelis... time there has been a rate of killing of civilians that great, Rwanda was the last time that we've seen killing on that scale. That in the period of just several months, you've killed 12,000 children, when in the entire first year, of war Russia, is Ukraine. terrible. I'd like to see it yes, stop tomorrow. Course. Let's stop yeah. it tomorrow by people like you stirring it up. And if people like you stop stirring it up, if you're we might in get peace. Though, if you're interested in statistics, you'll pay attention to the fact that nearly 500 Ukrainian children were killed in Russia's entire first year of invading terrible. Ukraine. Terrible. And here Absolutely we have... Terrible. Yeah, but I'll, tell you, I'll tell you a statistic. All, all the people killed in Israel and between all the Arab nations since 1948 is the sixth monthly figure in Syria for the last decade. So where are all the people on the streets? Why aren't you talking about Syria? Why, where's all the protests about that? Why is it only about Yemen. Israel? The Yemen, the Chinese, Uyghurs, two million Muslims. And no one goes on about that. Not even one march for them. But yeah, it's a no, weekly plenty one. Plenty of marches Saturday. for them. Right now, we oh, happen to be... Oh, you're on your own then. You need to get a few people with right you. Right now, we happen to be in the midst of the slaughter of, of Gaza. Oh, well, the Uyghurs not there now. Them. And the Uyghurs are all right. They can hold a bit. They can just stay in a concentration camp for a few more months. What about Syria? Syria, the civil war in Syria has tapered down. Tell me, there's a lot many more people that are being killed there. Taking place right now. Tell me, yeah, right. many of us have spoken out you're against just, violence against you're civilians. You're just proving, yeah. you're proving that you don't want peace. That's all you're proving. Let me ask you this: Do you admit that Hamas are a terrorist organization? Hamas has engaged in terrorism, and Israel has engaged in far greater terrorism. If you want to define any organization that has committed terrorism, and do terrorism, you really expect sympathy by saying stuff like that? Do you really what? think that helps the situation, going in the media I, and saying stuff like that? Yes, speaking truth. You're yeah, saying that Israel is a terrorist organization, well, are yes, you? the government of Israel and the Israeli military are terrorist organizations, and here's why. I can actually prove do you, to you. Do you think because, Britain is a terrorist can I, organization? Can I, can I finish my sentence? I can no, actually prove it's my show. You get your own. The les, do you, the think, definition do of terrorism, you think that Britain is a terrorist organization? Yeah. The definition of terrorism is deliberately using violence against civilians. Answer the question. Do you think that, Britain no, is a not, terrorist organization? The if, if there is ever... Um, look, I'm not an, an expert on, on British history, but yes, you bring up an example... <laughs> so you're saying all wars are terrorists, they're done by terrorists, because all, always civilians you talk get rubbish. hurt Thank war. you, yeah. goodbye, Anybody thank you for calling us. Not very clever. I, I, I shush you, I've really had enough. You talk rubbish. You, people like you, are the reason why this can you're, goes you're, on. You're a clown and take care of yourself. And Wh which yeah, one? Just good, good, good. I'm luck. glad you enjoyed good it. Bye bye. Good luck. Uh, with this. So, yeah. 0344 499 1000. Leave them dress, wanting more. I will dress up as a clown for after this. You morning. liked his haircut. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. All Rosie. right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman. Is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, 
But yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on what just <laughs> happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss him. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail to, her. Yeah, we're absolutely. Supposed to it was another era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Right, OK, so fancy calling me a clown. I feel really hurt about that. Yeah, I must you have know, been you rude, talking about. Rude, I don't mind, and clown. Yeah. I don't even have a sense of humour, do I? No, no. ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that's good. You've got the car out at full So apart. close to the edge. Have you bought the Ferrero Rocher, by the way? No, yeah. hasn't. Um, anyway, listen, welcome <laughs> to the James Whale Show, Unleashed on Talk Star Radio and, and Talk TV. You can find us all over the place. Um, now, if you want to come on the show, and I'd love you to, call 0344-499-1000. You want to take issue with something you've heard or something I've said, feel free, 0344-499-1000. But if you're looking for a radio sort of four-type show or a nice one of those rather boring, dull radio programmes that do phone calls... Or this is more like Arena. Do you remember that program, Arena, with the oh, bottle yeah, floating? Yeah, yeah, it's very yeah. sophisticated. Yeah, and, uh, like, yeah I, like, I like to topical. think... Topical. I like to think we're tabloid. Yeah, I like to think yeah. we're tabloid. Like and maybe we're that. very highbrow. We are, yeah. Because judging by the younger generation and the woke wah, wallies... Um, we're broad -shoot. Yes. Why are the young... Not all. Not all. But why are all the younger people, almost a lot of them, seem to be so thick? Why are they being taken in? Mm. by this whole thing that's going on in the Middle East. You know, not long ago, we had people marching through the centre of London uh, shouting, kill the Jews. Hopefully, if they do that again, they're going to be locked up. And then well, people no, they going, won't be, they'll be. You know, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, Violetta, good evening. Welcome it's to the show. It's all in context. Yes, good evening. Violetta. Straight to the point. Good. Oh, I know, just for a change, Jamie boy. Ah, OK, Israel has got every right to protect themselves yeah. every single right because they are the attacked ones we are not talking about genocide here conducted by the jewish people uh, towards the others we are talking about a decent not paid army of sons and daughters of israel who are protecting their homes and their families mm. of a further killings in absolutely sadistic manner. Mm. That is unheard of. But why, what tell me this, Violetta, it's quite sensible for you, or you've rung in before or not. Yeah. Why, Violetta, are our young people not understanding? Now, I don't want to see people killed. I don't want to see babies and innocent people killed. Sadly, that is what happens in war. 
it happens yeah. in war. I mean, war. 500 now, Israeli soldiers have been killed, and that, it, that, that yeah. shows they're actually sending people in rather than just carpet bombing. Israel, they're trying to... Yeah, Israel has a professional army, and they are following, as far as they can, the rules. But they're being attacked from people hiding behind innocent people mm. In places like, who would hide in a hospital or a school? And it's an existential threat because they've got Hezbollah, which is much worse and dangerous than Hamas. They have 150,000 yes. missiles pointing at Israel. And if that goes off and Iran goes off, then uh, mm -hmm. it could be good night Vienna. And Iran are trying to get the, uh, they're on yeah. the edge of getting a nuclear weapon. So. Violetta, you make a very good point. Thank you this evening. Let's talk to Alan, who is in... Um... Aberdeen, do I that thought, thing you said. I thought it said Alexander. Yeah. Uh, Alan, good it's evening. What can we do for you? It's Alan James. Yeah, I nice said Alan. To to you. Sorry? Yeah. Nice to speak to you. Good. Is it? I'm, I, I may imagine it is probably one of the high points of your life, yeah. No, it's OK. So far. Um, do I, I just, know you, Alan? Do you, am I supposed to know you? No, I don't think so, Jim. Who, are, who okay. are you, Alan? He's Alan from Aberdeen. Why have Alan you come here? Aberdeen, yeah. Could you not move? Just don't move. Just don't move. Watch, that, pull me on now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was, okay. I was just wanting to comment on your, the marches that were getting yeah, taking yeah. place. Go to the point, Alan. We've got to move on in a moment. I'm being shouted at. And uh, there were, I seen one up in Aberdeen today. Yeah. And there were probably maybe a hundred people at most. Yeah. So if it's it's the whole country, it's I don't understand why everyone is against Jewish people. Well, well, not everybody not is, Aberdeen, obviously. but a, a very loud minority seem to yeah. feel that it is within their right because we are a decent, law-abiding sort of uh, free-speech yeah, well, nation. You would hope, but, and you would hope, but are, but they, they're a bit thinking. The, like that woman you showed with the bullhorn earlier, she was like a young student calling for whatever it's called, Intifada. Intifada. Yeah, yeah, but you get the like point, and the reason is, Alan, because people don't think they're not that intelligent and they are no. taken in it's a youth by social media. Culture. Thanks, Alan. Right, um, let's talk to uh, Femi Nylander, uh, who is a, an activist again. Completely different subject. Forget all of that. Completely different. Uh, Femi, good evening to you. Um, good evening. I, mean, I, I, did have, I, mean, I know it's a different subject, but I did have the displeasure of having to... You have to log on to these calls early. And it is, it is very tedious to hear you pedal lies about Palestine. But let's get to mm. the, the, the topic of today. Sorry, what did, what, what, what did you just say? I think he agrees I with what we it, were saying. I you, don't agree you, with what you you're actually saying think. Let's, let's get on to the topic. No, no, of no. Oh. You brought it up, mate, and you're going to suffer okay. for it. You brought it up. So, what yeah. you're saying is. Are you wearing a mask? No, it's a beard like mine. Um, what you're saying is that you think Britain is behaving in an appalling way because you think in some way we are supporting what's going on in Gaza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. I mean, so what do you weapons. think we should do? Uh, I, think, I think, again, this ties into what we discussed, well, I mean, what the idea is to discuss slavery. And I think you probably peddle lies about the slave trade in the same way as you're peddling lies about Gaza. I think we should stop selling weapons to somewhere that has killed 13,000 kids. I mean, 500 soldiers versus 13,000 kids. So what we should, what we children. should do... Yeah, it's for us. Hang on, just... But let's, let's move on to... No, to I'll move on when I'm ready to know. Okay, well, yeah. Right, okay, be cool. quiet for a minute. Yeah. So, I... I you, you talk rubbish. You talk absolute rubbish like everybody else. So you think we should stop selling weapons. Is that what you're saying? Who keeps fighting? Leading the guests down. Stop it. No, we should. I mean, we okay. should start, and we should also we should also start talking about our um, historical role in creating the state of Israel, just like our historical role in the slave trade. I've I spoken mean, about that many times, and maybe it should uh, have been done I mean, better. Should we go point. back to Roman like, times as well and talk about that? Well, well, well we could go back to Roman times. And the Vikings, the of it's course. Not, it's not. It's not history yeah. at you the moment. It's happening now. In my ears at the moment. Can you? The Ming Dynasty. Look, let's talk about this because you're wrong about the Palestinian situation. I feel very sorry for Palestinian people. But they, you well, know, you don't. They, uh, well, Hamas I, is the ones how causing many the Hang on, shut up a minute. How many times do I have to say, I feel very sorry, I don't want to see innocent people killed, yet people like you say, oh, yeah, but that's Nor do right. Israel. You know, you nobody don't. wants to see like, innocent Israelis people. Israelis haven't, like, no, barely any Israelis have died in contact. 40,000 versus 60,000. OK. Barely any, no, Let me no, ask I mean, you the, the question. Is, Here's the question. What about the 1,400? Just shut up a minute. Here's the question. Are Hamas, in your view, a terrorist organisation? About 7th of October in the midst of a genocide. So, it's, rape resistance, you, you think it's a back. rape is resistance? The, the rape, the rape is nonsense. 
Like, oh, the, right, the, you're the, a the denier as well. Like, do you deny the Holocaust? I'm not, you're a denier. Do I deny the Holocaust? The Holocaust, no, the Holocaust was terrible. The Holocaust was a terrible, a Holocaust was a terrible well, don't, crime. Don't, One of many terrible crimes. So and you should, are um, happy to hark the Holocaust. the UN came out then, the other day and confirmed about the rapes. The UN came out and confirmed the rapes, and some of them were happily What do you, hang on, I want to know what he wants to, what do you mean? What about the Holocaust you want to say? Tell me. No, no, what I'm saying is, if, if you, just, you just brought up the Holocaust, because you think the Holocaust is a terrible well, did, historical crime, and that Israel has, and that Israel has a, I didn't bring it up, you guys brought it up, but that Israel has a right to defend itself because of the fact that they were victims in the past. No, However, just when right we talk about things itself. like, let me, just, let, just, let, me just, let me just quickly, quickly, let me land. Um, if, if I speak to you about slavery, it's forget about it. Why are we going back to the Romans? This is ancient history. But you're happy to bring up history. In this context, the Holocaust is a oh. historical event. In hold on. The, the UN Will came out and said now? that the rapes did happen. Are you saying the UN are, are wrong about Otherwise, about I'm going to have to take Are you up. saying the UN are wrong about Did you about hear that? what Chuck about... said? Well, this is important. No, point. it's not important. We'll go it back to it. We've already covered it before, and he's going to say exactly the same thing that people like oh. him smugly say all the time. Well, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about slavery. So the Church of England, right? UN employees over the past... past Keep your eyes on what we're doing. So you, you about the Church of England uh, are very excited they're going to pay a billion pounds. They don't have a billion pounds, apparently, to pay. They think they're going to they get have it from the tax They have a billion manager. pounds and a one billion pound in endowment, so they have plenty of money, yes. Oh, good. So they're going to pay that to, uh, to um, the Caribbean, mainly. Is that right? Um, I mean, they're going or is it just to give black it to people? black-owned businesses. Yeah. Um, That's racist for a start. Well, it's not, is it? It is What's racist. racist is the slave trade where you drag people across the Atlantic and enslave them and rape their women. You talk about rape. The slave trade has you know, so much rape are, and it's not well what documented. What is wrong with people this is, like this you? is racist. It's well, not racist what, to, to, to try and retribute the historical sins. Let me ask you a question. When Israel got reparations for the Holocaust, was that racist? When if you was, believe in rep did you believe, do you believe in because Israel got holocaust reparations? Yeah, Israel but you received reparations, reparations from actual building stuff. No, 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 but uh, but I'm saying. Israel, you, I'm, I'm talking about I'm, when Israel got reparations for the Holocaust, it's fine. The people that it actually happened people to them. Can I let him speak? You know, it was the descendants of the people that it happened to. It's obviously the victims of the Holocaust. Yeah, that most of them died in the Holocaust. So if they died in the Holocaust, the property got returned. If they died in the Holocaust, we're talking about the children. We're talking about the descendants. So you're, now, you're, what you are is you're a hypocrite. And are you? You, you apply one you, standard to the Holocaust you and you apply another standard to slavery. Are because you, you're a hypocrite. Because you, you don't so believe the things you, you say. Understand it, because you, you, you're just a I've had enough now. So nonsense. either you shut up or you go. All right? So do you believe you because you have a black skin, right? You believe that you are entitled to something because maybe some of your uh, ancestors were or could have been slaves. There were many white people in this country who were taken into slavery... Uh, some by African countries, believe it or not, but by Scandinavian countries, by by European mm. countries. A lot of Brits well, at one African, time wasn't it? North African. got taken away from here as slaves. People like you annoy me so much. And the Archbishop... People like you disgust and, me. Well, like you the dis annoy you isn't the word. Me. You, you disgust, disgust me. me. You're a propagandist yep. for genocide. You're a propagandist for slavery. You're a white supremacist and you chat nonsense. But you deny, you talk you bullshit. Hang on, just, a, just a minute. And so, you're a hypocrite. That's the main so thing. So I'm a you white supremacist. You apply one standard to the Holocaust and you apply another standard to the mass enslavement of Africans because you don't believe the things you say and you don't have principles. It's a different situation. You can't apply the same standard no, they're not. One situation is a genocide. Was the other the situation is a mass enslavement. Was the slavery slavery went over for 400 years, involved throwing people into the, o into the ocean to drown, involved working people to death, involved raping their women, and you're saying, yeah. oh, what's the parallel between so what the Holocaust about, and the What about the, the, the Africans who did the same to, yeah. to yeah. Europeans? Yeah. What and about the Africans who did the same thing? Like, Britain, I have no the respect. Fight against I can't slavery. hear if he's calling you a liar. Time, but I've got no respect for people who don't have consistent standards that, that apply one standard to something and another standard to something else. How and you have one, one standard to use another standard for, for Israelis. How much, much do you want to receive? How much should you get? People. How much do you want? How much should I get? I, I shouldn't get anything because I'm, 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 I've am i come from a rel relatively decent background and I'm not... So so I'm, I'm who not who is money this myself. money I'm going to be protect. given to you? I understand that structures exist. I, understand that I don't really want to talk to you because you call me a white supremacist. I don't want to talk to you. Well, yeah, I mean, because you are. Did you you are. You're a hypocrite, you're a liar, and you're a propagandist, and I've seen you pop up and, and yeah, berate you your guests. you just lie blatantly on air, haven't we? Blazing.
denying that no women were raped, and you know, you it's just everyone no, knows no, no, that no, happened. That the, the You've blatantly lied, is, and we, we all uh, know you. You deny that thirteen. I mean, how many? How do many know, Palestinians on board? Yeah, we're Do you accept the figures? Have or a do you nice say, night, man. Always come from right, Hamas. Another minute. We'll give you you a are minute. a liar and a propagandist. And you're just, just give him a minute. Pathetic, aren't you? I've had you're enough. pathetic, James Wales. I'm not you're taking pathetic. part in it anymore. You're pathetic. I'm you're just pathetic, listening to this idiot, Can't even get his this man who's anymore. just trotting out complete and utter rubbish that I... I know I don't want to. I want him gone now. He's course, just talking rubbish. Thing. And you know, think, and if the Church of England, which isn't a, a proper thing. church... And I say that genocide is a Could you fade him out? Whatever. Good. Off you go. Go on. I mean, I've never heard so much rubbish. I'd like to do in the words of... Um, he couldn't have a debate. No, he, he, I'm not going to be called uh, a white supremacist. Just rubbish. You know, and then I'm, just I'm, demanded we believe it. We'll go back to the cause to talk to decent people, ordinary people who yeah. understand more. Uh, Michelle in Windsor. Hello, Michelle, you're on the app. Hello. Well, I've got a question for you. You've been talking about education and schools. Yeah. I have a question. Why isn't William Wilberforce and the part that Britain played in ending the slave trade on the national curriculum. I thought it was, isn't it? No, and they never have anything that's good about Britain, do they? I'm, I'm getting, you know, I... I the education have... establishment's been, been captured. They don't... Yeah. They, they, they want to do down Britain. Churchill was a, a racist, you know... I'm not against... Then. Let me make this point. I'm not against people who who follow a religion. You're free to do whatever you want or, you know, whatever colour of skin like uh, us, a bit pink. Um, I don't care one way or the other. What I do care is about those people, like that last bloke, who really are bringing back racial hatred into mm. this country. And what I really worry about is how, before long, we are going to see the rise in the extreme far right. I don't want to see that. I lived through it back in the 60s and 70s. It was horrible. I want to see people coming together and actually, be, you know, enjoying each other. We have now seemed to feel it's exceptionally OK to talk down and be rude about white people. We talk about white privilege. Mm. If I was to talk about black privilege and, you know, which I wouldn't do anyway because I don't Well, there is black like privilege that. for certain jobs, you know. No. Don't apply if you're white. Well, there is that problem now, I must admit. But I've got friends who come from all four corners of the world, or more corners, I don't know. Stupid thing to say, that, really. But I, I, I just get it's really, round. really fed up with people like that and the other one I had from America. Race baiting, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they, they're just, cause... you know, they're trying to This country to was getting it... along really well 20, 30 years ago. Now look what's, what's going on. I'm, I'm just sorry, Michelle. I'm Sorry, Michelle, I'm he's just wittering. Yeah. I'm quite angry. Well, I kind of feel that we have a... Um, basically, we have people that are being educated... The wrong by way. ...the internet. Yeah. And the, the only real solution to that is actually <laughs> teaching them about people like William Wilberforce and perhaps... Yeah. Paul Robeson yep. is a really great example of that when he because everybody's kind of assuming that Britain is America. But the internet we're is not. a good thing no, now because not. you look at the BBC and Sky and a lot of them and they, they trot out rubbish and the actual real news you can find out well on this station and on, on the internet now. It's actually more accurate than the mainstream news mm -hmm. in, in many cases. Yep. Internet is the way to go, and that's where most is, people of all ages actually watch their TV and, mm -hmm. and whether it's on their their phone, that's and where we'll uh, that's where you're going to find us in the near future. Look, the problem we have now, as far as I can see, is we have this terrible situation over in Gaza, which wants to be sorted as soon as it can. No conflict, no war is unfortunately going to leave innocent people safe. It's, it doesn't happen like that. And, you know, when a bunch of thugs go into a, a, a village... In Israel, well, lots and of then, villages and a raid and, and a festival, and then murder every single person, film themselves mutilate them. doing it, mutilate them, gang rape them, gang rape them. The Behead evidence is, is everywhere, but some people still say well, it didn't happen. And then we go on to the Church of England. You know, I'm not religious. I make no no bones about the fact I'm completely secular. And you get the Archbishop of what's it going on about? It. They're going to pay back all this money. For all the terrible things yeah. we did. Yeah. 
Well, so, so are we expecting Germany to pay us reparations for World War Two? That's a good point, no. actually. But the Blitz, yeah, they destroyed Birmingham, Coventry. <clears throat> yeah, but then we'd have to pay back. It goes on and on and on. No, you know, if somebody declares war on somebody, there's going to be terrible, terrible mess and situation. You know, we're not really responding properly at the moment to those Yemenis who are mm. bombing, and they killed three people in the last one, mm. uh, bombing our ships. And what about Russia, Ukraine? Oh, we should be. Why are people not calling for a ceasefire there? Yeah. It's a bit odd. Or any other war, for instance. But um, I, I think a lot of it is down to actually putting our part in ending wars on the national curriculum. Because you're already... You had a guy on earlier uh, saying about, you know, people being uneducated in schools. Well, if it's on the curriculum, the teachers are going to have to learn about it. Mm. Um, Michelle, very good point. Thank you very much indeed. Um, We've got a couple of tweets about that chap. What was his name? Femi. Femi. Uh, what he's doing is bullying and harassing you, James. I, I think I can take you, really. Um, he, he has he cries in the no legal uh, cause of action, so he should not be demanding money for anybody. He didn't want any. He didn't want he any. He wanted it for other, other people. people. He is no different to an ill... Well, I don't know if we can say that. Mark in Norwich. But, well, it's probably a uh, billion descendants. But, they're going to get a quid each. What are they going to do with that? I, I, for being called... Uh, what did he call me? Uh, a I white don't... supremacist and yeah. a genocide enabler. Well, you really shouldn't be any I'll, of those I'll have a little have chat with my that. lawyer about that because that might, about I, that. I don't know if he's got any money. Uh, James, black people enslaved other black people... Yeah. He should read up on his history, says Wayne. Yes, right. Unfortunately, these are uh, femin feminists. I don't think you could These read. woke people, don't know why I said feminists. Anyway, uh, these, oh, Femi, yeah. Um, they they get their facts wrong, and then when they get upset, they shout. And I just and they demand really they're annoyed. right, even when they're wrong. Yeah. Uh, let's talk to James in Chester. James, good evening to you. All right, so James, yeah, what it is is slavery. I mean, I love history, James. I've always loved history, right? Mm. And if you go back, slavery has come back. It goes back to Moses. It goes back to... It goes and, back until we, Britain, realised the error of slavery's ways and stopped it. Exactly. It still exactly. goes on now, by the way. There's, still more, there's more slaves in the world now than there's ever been. And you never see these people, do you? You're never worried about the slavery that's going on now. It's always about... Yeah. Past slavery. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because at the moment you could well say that Hamas has kind of taken over the Palestinian people. Well, and they're, that's in a way, they've enslaved well, they have. I them. Mean, they'll, they'll kill you if you don't support them if you're in Gaza. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's just crazy. I mean, yeah. slavery goes. All races have been slaves that's the right. Roman Empire, the Vikings. Mm -hmm. How far do we go back with this stuff? We don't go any further back and we stop this nonsense. And the Archbishop of Canterbury should be absolutely ashamed of himself. And the sooner we remove the bishops and any other religious organisations who might find their way into um, a position of um, not well, authority... Well, anyone gets but, in the House of Lords. You've got 23-year-old yeah. political assistants now elevated to the House of yeah. Lords. That's another yeah. story. I think we need to sort that out sometime too. Uh, James, thank you. Uh, Tony is in Lancashire. Tony, good evening to you. Yeah, good evening, James and Ash. I tell you what, me and my friend were just having a bit of an argument then about like um, how going on about we're, we're paying so much about these immigrants, what we're paid. Macron about what three billion in the last couple of years we're paid. We wonder hotels and barges. Yeah. And like you know that money. But hang on, hang on, the hit. defense system. Tony, you're right. I agree with you, but there are no. This word immigrants and migration is wrong. You can come into this country legally and there is arguments that maybe too, people, too many people are coming into this country because an enormous amount of British people are lounging around on yeah. social media and not taking the very many jobs that well, a city, we have. Well, there's a city the size of Birmingham but, immigrating yeah, yeah. into this country every but, 18 months and we're the not people, building The 400. people who come in here in the backs of lorries, the people who come here in the boats... And the southeast, those are not immigrants; those are criminals. Fifteen million a day, I think it's costing now. Mm. Enormous amount. Of Tony, he's put his radio on. He's just left us. Yeah, really. Tell the way, cheers. I wanted to know what your thoughts were about this. Well, we just told you. 
Yeah. Tony, very good. Thank you very much indeed. I, what was all that? Always leave about? them wanting more. What? He needs to know when to leave the stage. Oh, you know, right. Okay. To... Okay. Stephen uh, Walsall. Stephen Walsall. You, the yum will yum. you stop it? All You're right. getting on my all right, Steve. nerves. All right. Steve, it's me. You can right, talk Steve, to the um, you can talk to the leader, not the trash. Uh, yes, Steve. Yeah, I would just like to talk about the slavery thing. Yeah, go on. He said he wants to Everybody talk about the slavery thing. If you don't shut the flip up, yeah, what are you, you are going to go. I don't resort to violence. I just ask them to show there, you out. Yeah. What was responsible for slavery? The Dutch was at it. The French was at it. The Spanish was at it. Even the people on the west coast of Africa were rounding all we're these people up. But we know all this. We they're know why. Why are people actually not understanding history? We were the ones that stopped it. That's the irony yeah, of it. Yeah, and, me and, and James, and then it took off, and William Wilberforce got his nose involved. And Steve, you are Steve. absolutely right. Thank you very much indeed, Steve. We're coming up to uh, eight o'clock. We're going to take a little break, and we'll be back after uh, that with uh, some more of your calls. And Ollie loved. Now listen. All right, Ali. He's been banned from TikTok. Quite right, And too. you're going to be banned from this show if you don't stop I'll go on TikTok. Talking. No problem. I'll just go All on TikTok. All you do is bloody talk right, non-stop. TikTok. The Ash no, show. No, no. Do you, you want to are going. on my show? No. Three, two, one. Uh, go, Grams. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. I mean, there's quite a lot of game playing going on here. Oh, don't start me on that. <laughs> there's a sort of feeling they ought to look as if they're doing something. So don't accuse anyone else of stoking culture wars. Such as the smoke and mirrors of, of politics. Ruminating and fulminating and debating and voting and God knows what. Said they couldn't back the party's position. But the government has got to be more flexible. It's starting to sound like a very expensive show, this, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This is Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. You might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight-pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, missing. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> 40 <laughs> 40 minutes, 40. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family, and if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. 
the UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail her. We're supposed Absolutely. to was another that. era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. This is Talk TV. Today on Talk TV. Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on Talk TV and radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a cow. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. Uh, right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the James Whale Show. I am apparently so unleashed. unleashed. But uh, I don't think I'm feeling. You are unleashed. Yes. I'm unleashed. It's the okay. only way to have you. Yeah, and my glasses I'm keep falling out. I don't know why. Uh, so anyway, welcome to the show. If you are one of those easily offended people, woke wallies, or whatever, this isn't the show for you. So, and I know lots of people love to love to watch this show and then yeah. moan about it afterwards. Yeah. I don't pretend to be Mr. and Mrs. Or we don't pretend. That was to a be good show, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Mr. And Mrs. Normal. Yeah. Uh, so if you are easily offended, triggered and get very upset, this is not the show for you. Leave the room now. Now, for those of you listening to us on Talk Radio, if you want to join us, 0344-499-1000 and uh, watching on... Follow the finger. ...on Talk Television, you can follow the figure. F f f follow finger. the finger. Finger, yeah. Uh, right, you so can WhatsApp us on that as well, by the way. Yeah, it's you can thing. Exus, WhatsApp us. us at... Uh, at Virtual Ash, at, Talk at TV. the James Well, at yeah. Talk TV, but WhatsApp us now on that number as well. Right, our old friend Lizzie couldn't make it tonight, you know, uh, we, we've she's said She's here, her. what do you mean she's here? No, no, well, come on, I mean... She's had a haircut. <laughs> she had a bar mitzvah to go to, right. You know, it's, it's, she it's, comes up with war weird excuses. She yeah. has to come up with them because she, she uses the traffic one all the time. Yeah, and she, she rung me three times to tell me, that, I can't make the programme tonight. Yeah, Mazel tov on your right. mitzvah, yeah. Lizzie. Um, but we likes, have, we've likes. got, uh, well, maybe the best thing. Ollie London joins us. Uh, Ollie is a political activator. He's uh, the a, a political commentator and whatever. In fact, Ollie, what do you keep? And I've, I've had a word with the boss about him, and well, he's beginning well, to really get on. Well, well I don't want to do it. We just shut up for at a the bit. camera. And uh, Ollie, me. welcome to the show. Thank you for coming. Well, in. great to see you as Lizzie's replacement uh -huh. today. When <laughs> when we first met. It's interesting. When We've had an interesting first... journey, haven't mm. we? Because when we first met, it was down the you, I you were going to and... change to being a Korean woman. That was a long time ago, but yeah, that was mm. the first time we met, and I've yeah. obviously been through that, and now to where I am today. And reversed it. At some mm. point, we never. At some point, we should talk about the whole trans issues, but not tonight. You have been banned from TikTok. What have you done? Well, I actually have done nothing, so I haven't posted on TikTok for two months. Yeah, they all say that. What have you done? Literally, and all I post on TikTok is like silly little dance videos. I don't stick to politics on TikTok. It's only on X. Um, so what has happened, I've had pro-Palestinian activists targeting all of my social media. I had a day in December... I had about 100,000 hate comments on TikTok, Twitter mm. and Instagram combined that day because they keep adding my name to some kind of pro-Palestinian hit list online to try and take my accounts down. People um, say TikTok's controlled by the Chinese authorities and they flood our stuff with crap for the kids and they give educational stuff to the Chinese kids. Is there some truth It absolutely is. I mean, while TikTok tends to deny that in the US, mm. uh, Congress is trying to ban um, and they just had a unanimous vote that do it. TikTok has to be sold but off. I, mm. I think people actually have got to take more responsibility for themselves and their children mm. on social media because social media is not going anywhere. And there are loads of platforms. I mean, I only do X, mm. and I do a bit of. But how do you stop your kid? What age should they get a phone? And well, how do you know, stop they them? They need to be 
educated in the world and how you know people say some pretty horrendous things and talk about yeah but you remember when you were a kid you'd go and find a thing in the bush you wouldn't go you'd go against what all <laughs> your parents find a thing in the bush well a magazine or something and now that's the equivalent of that you don't do what yeah. your parents tell yeah. you you no, do what I your know. mates I tell know, you but you have because there is more horrific stuff available you yeah, know, we know. U, we u, we used to get health and efficiency, which was a very wholesome. Do you anybody remember health and efficiency? It was all about health, really. Look it up. They just happened to be all <laughs> naked in it. it yeah, the, yeah. Hmm. Ollie, you're not bored with that, are you? I'm not no. bored with that. No. no. <laughs> so TikTok, TikTok of bandy. You wouldn't. Have and been. some of the some of the nastiness from so-called peaceful people who are looking for peace in the world. Some of them are so hateful. It's always the they ones. They amuse me, but it's always the ones with the pronoun pins that are chanting for peace, chanting for ceasefire. These are the the most hateful ones, and you know I get targeted every day. Like my TikTok was taken down, and uh, I've just managed to get it back today. However, TikTok is refusing to give me my name back, so they're now I'm called really? user two three four five something else, and somebody has stolen my name, and TikTok has allowed that because basically they don't want mm. pro Israel voices on TikTok. Mm. They so they're push, part of the axis with Russia, China, are you absolutely. Know, Russia, I mean they Iran. push they push a very very heavily biased content which is anti Israel, pro Hamas, mm. and this is why you see a lot of angry young people because they're getting their information from TikTok and TikTok is not an encyclopedia a lot of yeah. it is just made yeah. up by these influencers and most of it is coming as we already said Chuck um, most of it is coming from people who actually uh, do not understand that China owns as we said mm. China owns TikTok and that's why politicians have, have, have been told don't put stuff out on here because the Chinese will manipulate it and they will put it in a way that is detrimental to us. But they're very clever. They will do it so a lot of young people believe it. They don't, you know, they don't actually question anything much anymore. There was a car charge, you know, made by the Chinese, and it's got to be recalled, but there's still a lot out there. And they worked out that China could, from China, cause a flooding <coughs> of our electrical system and just cause a, you know, uh, mm. when the electricity all goes out in America and here, you know, there's mm. things like that. You've got to keep an eye on it. I mean, you don't, they don't even need to go to that extreme because they've already flooded uh, young generation's mind with TikTok, yeah. uh, you know, pushing this uh, trans agenda, which is really coming from TikTok, uh, pushing the pro-Palestine content, which is really biased and it's not telling the yeah. truth. And well, The Art of War, Sun Tzu, says never d disturb your enemy when they're destroying themselves or something like that. And, and that's what they're doing. They're, just, they're making us destroy mm. it. They're laughing at us. Look Russia. at America. Look at us now. Yeah. These con Our countries are being destroyed. And they're laughing yeah. at it. Absolutely. The young generation has been indoctrinated. They've been dumbed down Quite right. all because of this uh, Chinese kind of proxy weapon with TikTok. Are you going to go back on it? Um, look, so they've just reinstated my account today. They refuse to give my username. I'm not going to post. I'm not going to I'm not going to post on an app that uh, pushes kids to be. Uh, How trans. many followers did you have? Uh, well, I have one point one million and I have like two point five billion views. So I'm like a, a very big content creator on the platform. So they lose a lot of uh, money from that. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, I, I just haven't posted for two months because I just think, you know, TikTok is toxic. I would rather be on a platform like X where there's yeah. no shadow banning, there's no censorship and I can report the news mm. factually. Do you like what Elon Musk's done there? I do. I mean, I think without Elon Musk, a lot of us wouldn't be able to express our opinions in yeah, such a way and you know you don't have to agree with someone's opinion mm -hmm. it's great to have different opinions in, in free societies so I think what he's done is great and you know some people say oh this should be banned this person should be banned but you know what we should uh, promote free speech we should be allowed yeah. to speak up yeah. I totally agree um, an activist from Palestine Action has uh, we talked about this a little earlier destroyed a 1914 painting of Lord Balfour at the Trinity College in Cambridge. Now, this is a piece of history of this country. Can we show that clip again? Um, and this, this I don't even like seeing woman it, sorry. has just slashed up this uh, this picture. Oil For those of you right. watching us on Talk TV, uh, you will uh, see it now. And it's basically uh, a painting of um, Lord Balfour. Uh, who did all kinds of things. Well, he did the company. Balfour Declaration, which was uh, believing in a home of uh, Zionism, basically, yeah. the start of... Um, and there's a one, I don't know, I don't understand, she's... she's spraying it and then spraying slashing it. it. You and didn't then need to do both. I mean, it. The slashing ruins it. And she must be completely stupid. She looks like a posh little middle-class woman. Now, why are they going mad? Well, firstly, why isn't this person in jail? This is a painting yeah. from 1914. Have they even um, been arrested? 
I don't believe so. And guess what? She's wearing a one thousand pound mulberry bag on her backpack. There, it's always mm-hmm. the the upper class ones, you know, mm-hmm. trying to fight for the little guy. They're all mm-hmm. hypocrites. The white saviors. All hypocrites. And you know, I think it's an utter disgrace. And I think someone that damages a priceless work of art, whether that's throwing soup over it or slashing it, should go to well, prison for a very long time. Well, that's a lot worse than the, the soup we've had glass on it. This is actually they've actually destroyed all. She's, that you can't serious. replace this. This is from nineteen fourteen. You cannot replace. What should they this. get? Should they get twenty to put people off and mm-hmm. make an example? Shouldn't she get ten years or something? Like I that? think a very big sentence because, you know, that's a disgrace. Well, financially, it's a massive... And also, you know, why not make these people pay for the painting if it's worth a million, two million pounds? Make her Her pay that back for the rest Mm. of her life because that is is a piece of history, so I think it's a disgrace. Do you know, that's even better than what I said at the beginning, we should bring back corporal punishment. Mm. It is even better. It's very unusual for someone to say something better than than Mm. what he said. Very, very unusual indeed. Uh, but I keep having to sort of make this correction. I want to see the war finish tomorrow. Mm. I want, you Everybody know, I does. So do Israel. Yeah. Everyone does. Mm. Every, Apart uh, from Hamas. Isra- Israel would love to see it end tomorrow, but they've, you know, uh, Hamas have rejected 10 ceasefire agreements. They yeah. are refusing to release the hostages. They're now playing mind games. You know, they, they've just released some propaganda video yeah. telling people to guess which hostages are dead. They're, they're saying yeah. about six new hostages are dead. I'll guess which ones are dead. You know, they're playing mind games. People in Palestine, in Gaza, they know where these hostages are because mm. many of these hostages there was uh, Mia Shem she revealed she was kept in a civilian's house it's a small community some of Everybody... them were UNRWA workers exactly 12 of them were UNRWA workers that went into Israel that day no but some were keeping the hostages as well absolutely in their lofts. teachers teachers yeah. from UNRWA so look they know where the hostages is there's two simple demands Israel has said since day one release the hostages Hamas must unconditionally surrender yeah. simple as so all mm. these people calling for ceasefire why don't you tell that to Hamas that have rejected 10 ceasefire why do you think it has gone the other way and that these people, young, I mean, there are a lot of them, there's a, they're a minority, but there are quite a lot of them, um, who actually believe, and I'm sorry, I, 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 I am being uh, middle of the road about this. I don't want to see anybody killed, mutilated, or, uh, but if you have a, a, a town which is attacked and everybody in it virtually unarmed, mm is completely killed, completely killed. You know what kidnapped. I mean? I'm just, yeah. I'm just angry at the moment. Mutilated. What would you expect the country to do? Is we'd be, if we'd be in a... Well, we'd they be are being very careful. Continuing. I mean, they're holding the civilians as shields and are literally killing the least amount in any modern warfare possible. Mm. Well, if we remember back to 9-11, Afghanistan was invaded shortly after to take out bin Laden and the Taliban. So if you do that to any country, that country has a right to defend themselves. Mm. Israel has every right to defend themselves. And, for, you know, for all those saying, that Israel is doing this, Israel is doing that. Israel has simply stated, you know, every time that release the hostages, Hamas surrender, simple as that. Why don't the civilians give up the hostages that they are hiding? Yeah. They, there are IDF forces all over Israel now. They are around Rafa. Why not give up the hostages, surrender the hostages? These people have been tortured. These women have been severely sexually abused in captivity. There's been videos released. Just, it is horrific. Well, the just coming this, out a couple just of Just to make ago, this though. quite clear, if you disagree and you have a good reason i haven't heard from my guests so they don't have any reason but if you do please call in because if i'm wrong i will admit it the problem is well, as well that I, I will but the problem is that if you were uh, a well-trained a proper army like the israeli army if you were to go into a, an area like that and you were to be completely uninterested in looking after civilians this would have been over ages. They could do it with missiles, without soul. But after 9-11, all the international community didn't have to a few months go, oh, you better stop now, America. No, they joined in, actually, for 20 years. So this just shows the whole skewed uh, situation. And now they're saying, uh, the, the, the Hamas people, I believe, are, are saying, we don't want... Uh, America bringing in uh, supplies from the No, because they want their population to starve to get the media footage. Well, every time you see humanitarian aid convoys which come in via the Rafah crossing from Egypt, they are attacked. Firstly, Hamas hijacked them. You see Hamas on them. Anyone that runs mm-hmm. near these trucks gets shot at. Civilians get shot at. Secondly, we had a couple of weeks ago a mass stampede where thousands of civilians began mm-hmm. looting the trucks, charge at the trucks. Several of the truck drivers, fearing their lives, started driving off, ran over people, and you had dozens of people died. Uh, you know, and then everybody blames Israel. It's always blame Israel, blame Israel. Five people have been killed by the aid dropping on their heads.
Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm. So look, even the other day there was an Egyptian aid driver that got killed. They're throwing stones at these trucks. They're attacking these trucks. Mm. And you know, Hamas is stockpiling a lot of this aid. It should be going to the civilians. I've seen videos of uh, aid being sold on the streets. Uh, Cadbury's chocolates, Nestle chocolates being sold on the streets. It should be going to the people. But sadly, as long as Hamas is in control, people will always suffer. I don't know why, but the whole media and everything are going on with Israel aren't letting them get through. There's more trucks getting through than let's, before um, the war. Let, listen, Hamas we've, been, stopping it. we've been talking about this a lot. Let's go and talk about something else uh, that yeah. I think you're very interested. We've got a little clip yeah. of Hollyoaks, haven't we, first Yeah, of we all. have, yeah. Uh, I've got to give you something. This yes, is terrible. Watch this, Ollie. Round VT. Rose, you can't move on with your life until you've told the people you love who you truly are. That is, if you're sure. I'm so sure. Well, then, once you've taken the first step, you can start actually being who you truly are. It's the best feeling in the world. All this uh, encouraging kids before they know really what... I was going to use that terrible expression, Arthur or Martha, but that's an old Cockney yeah. expression. Um, we all go through when we were younger, you know, we wanted to be this... Did you? And then we wanted to... Oh, shut we up. We didn't all go through it. Shut up. Some of us did. Uh, it is a very confusing time in your life. You get into sort of young teenage and then older. That is not the time for people to say, well, you, you know it more than us, Ollie. Take Certainly it away. Do. Well, I've been through it myself. But, you know, kids do get confused. They do uh, question their identities, of course, when they're teenagers. Totally normal. But when you're putting it on a very popular show on Hollyoaks on Channel 4, mm. it's a prime time show. You know, you are showing that to millions of people. You've got a, a man who identifies as a woman yeah. telling a kid... A encouraging, girl. encouraging a kid to a young girl, uh, yeah, whatever, a twelve-year-old kids, um, encouraging them to be trans, a trans ma to mm. become a trans man. It's a little girl, twelve-year-old girl, and she's being talked to by a man who's mm. now a trans <laughs> woman trying to talk. It, and Ollie, by the way, was transitioning. We talked himself. about that yeah, when we just, first came in. Sure. Ignore what Chuck says. We've got to remind someone might have yeah. just tuned in. I mean, the, you were going to, as we said before, you were well on the... Or you've not transitioned, I should say. I didn't chop everything off, James, no, if you that's didn't. what you're asking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you did have, and one of the reasons you became famous in the first place, you did have an enormous amount of plastic surgery mm. done. And then you realised, this isn't what I want to do. I mean... How was that in your head at the time? I mean, how do you, how were you must have been very confused? Yeah, I was extremely, extremely confused. And we live in a society where there is so much pressure and encouragement to change, to change yourself, whether that's a kid wanting to look like a celebrity, whether they want to look like a filter or an influencer. We live in a society where there's just constant pressure. So I, of course, felt that, didn't like the way I looked, didn't like my identity, so I tried to change everything. Mm. And look, it doesn't make you happy. Some people generally are happy if they become trans. That's great for them, good for them. But, you know, a lot of kids are just confused Confused. They're going along with a trend and it's harmful if they're going through the surgery route or the hormone route. That is harmful. And, you know, yeah. why can't we encourage it as a society for people just to love themselves for who they are? That would be a great message. Well, the MP who's raised it with Ofcom said, so, you know, 30 years ago there were 15 kids that wanted to trans mm. and now it's gone to thousands. So mm. there's obviously something going on. It's been promoted in the media and Holly yeah. Oaks, like you say, it's a but why fashionable show. It's a youth it? culture, isn't it? Why it's are like... they allowing it through education? Why are the... It's all what captured, is isn't it? It's all captured. Well, that's a great point because it's not a conversation conversation that should be in a classroom you know teachers are not doctors they're not psychologists they shouldn't be talking about these subjects with kids they have no right to do that and look <clears throat> some teachers do it on by their own accord others are doing it because they're being pushed by you know school boards or certain if you um, go against it you're out basically well if you go against it you're transphobic so you, you know get there's canceled, a lot of pressure you don't get promoted there's a lot of pressure to go along with this kind of uh, narrative and it's simply wrong it should not be a conversation in school and also shouldn't be pushed to kids mm. via shows like Hollyoaks. Mm. Yeah, yeah, of course not. And, and as you you are a, a living example of that, you get to a certain age and you suddenly think, oh, I did, why did I do that? Mm. And then sometimes, and, it, luckily, you didn't have anything done, but mm. it could, now they're talking about people can be born a eunuch. Do you know anything about this story? Well, uh, well I okay. know I, people can, you know people can be born with deformed genitals. Uh, some people... Um, with both. Intersex, sex, they have know, both. Yeah, and, exactly. and well, you had one on the show, didn't we? Do you remember? And, and that is a, a medical condition, you mm. know, and doctors can, as a kid, they can perform that because it's a medical condition. But why have, mm. uh, has this become such an argument? I mean, we have a friend, and uh, he transitioned to a woman some years ago, uh, lives very happily, never made any fuss about it, reasonably well-known, um, and 
you wouldn't know that she wasn't a woman and had always been a woman. And that's what quite a lot of people do. They want to do it quietly. Mm -hmm. It's not something they want to talk about. Mm. Why do you think it's become this huge issue? Well, what you were saying about your trans friend, it's actually really hard for them now to just live their lives in peace. You know, mm. a lot of these people that have been trans for a long time, they were just simply living their lives, weren't mm. bothering anyone, they weren't pushing all this it's woke them agenda. Problems, yeah. So it's caused them a lot of and problems. And gay people, and, it's gay rights, right. because they've been included on the LGBT. Yeah, and a lot of gay people don't want to be included with that. And not just that, there's a lot of uh, kids that may be gay or lesbian, mm. but they're being told, oh, you're trans, that's the reason you feel like this. And yeah, yeah. no, they're actually, it's a form of conversion therapy. A tomboy, oh no, you're not a tomboy, you're actually trans. Exactly. But there is something mm. wrong with uh, um, somebody... <clears throat> who feels they want to be trans or whatever, uh, they dress up in a dress and have a big beard and they want to go and use ladies' toilets and things like that. That's what everybody kind I've of complains about. I've told you about, about. that. I've told you about that. Mm. <laughs> oh, shut up. Well, um, you know, that is completely wrong. And there's a lot of people that have uh, hijacked this trans movement. And mm. like we were saying, there were people that just simply want to exist. They people want to live their lives. People have it as a fetish. A lot of people do. And you see stories of, you know, men exposing themselves uh, in front of girls or well, women. if you want to go in the ladies' changing room, just say, I'm a butch lesbian and don't even change but, uh, the way but it, it's, and go it's, straight it's in. It's very selfish. And look, some people generally are trans, but it is selfish to think that mm. your rights are... Uh, you know, Trump override Trump a woman's Trump. rights. No, it does not. If you're a man in a dress, you do not belong going into a yeah. woman's private space. Mm. Okay, right. We're going to take a break. Um, can you stay around for a bit? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're then going to talk to uh, Venice Allen, a woman's rights activist, uh, about this furore. Is that the right word? Yes. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Um, well, it's going on in London, and it might not be of interest to anybody outside London. I, I hope it is. It's quite funny. Mm. in a way. Mm. Um, up in Hampstead, they have three ponds where people go swimming. Uh, what were they called? Wild swimming. They're not swimming. The man's pond, the ponds. woman's pond, and the man and woman's pond. Yeah, mixed. But now they're getting very upset and they want trans people to be able to go into a women's pond. And the women are kicking off. And, uh, you know, we'll find out more when we come back. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> All this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to happen and eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. All right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get. This. <laughs> but 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 I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh, Ooh. It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <miss it. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I, know it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> <you've got> to <laughs> 40 yeah. minutes, 40... Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. 
Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail to, her. Yeah, we're absolutely. Supposed to it was another era. That. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Uh, right, welcome mm. back, Shush. Thank you very much indeed. We're on the air. Good evening. Uh, I think I'm probably going to fall out of this next bit because I found one person doesn't really like dogs. You just said that to me. You, uh, you know, I don't the, know as far um, as you do. And, and, you know, so I, I do allow my biases to uh, creep in every I'm now. I'm probably the biggest dog and lover in the room. You hate dogs. You do, they don't like you so He does this because he's you know, jealous because I know more about you. dogs. Uh, so, listen, if you're easily upset and offended, then sod off because, quite you frankly, be in the first I don't place. want you watching anyway. I mean, look um, at this. Now, uh, Ollie London is still with us. Thank you, Ollie. Uh, and cool. now we're joined by uh, Venice Allen. Is that right? That's right. Oh, strange name. Um, who is a woman's rights activist. It's a very nice Don't pull that Venice, face at me. <laughs> now, apparently, I'm told by the producer this is a great story. I couldn't really understand why. <laughs> uh, but perhaps somebody will tell me. Uh, in Hampstead, as I said before, there are these three outdoor ponds. There's a mixed one, a female one, and a man one. Uh, man one, yeah, and so it's apparently, sort of basically a gay one. When I've been in the solarium bit, like yeah, yeah, sizzling yeah. sausages, all yeah. lying naked next to each other. All right, disgusting. I couldn't cross them to go to the disgusting. toilet. Disgusting. Um, and I don't know whether you have any of this problem where you are, but apparently trans people and Ollie want to go and swim in the women's one when there's a mixed one. Why the hell do these people want to do that? Well, because they want to be treated as mm. women. They think they are women. And we saw actually with the World Aquatics Championships, which is the world's uh, swimming championships last year in Berlin, they made a trans category. And guess what? Not a single trans mm. person wanted to be in that because mm. they want to be women. They want they're to be treated being, like no, women. Well, they're being bloody minded as well. And also, they? some of them want to look at women when they're in their bathing suits. That's so that, yeah. is, that is wrong. So Because if yeah. you are a person, I mean, if you have not transitioned yet, then you need to stay in the pond that you are of the sex of, if you see what I mean. But not what they voted for at the pond, and there was a big fight, wasn't there? Well, verbal fights. People, well, Venice has been I'm not uh, on again. social media shouting her mouth off and uh, telling everybody off, I believe. Well, I don't believe I saw it. And uh, did it do any good? I mean, have you got your way? Well, we haven't got our way because we lost the vote. Mm. But we're, What sort um... of people live in Hampstead? Lefties. Yeah, yeah champagne socialists, it. and now they've got it back. In a way, it's ironic, isn't it? They've got it coming back because oh, these gosh. are the sort of people. Kevin O'Sullivan lives there. I the, know oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. These are the sort of people that would have been all pro and lefty. Now they've got it in their doorstep. They don't like it. It's a bit like when the MPs all complain. They, once it comes to them, they moan about it. Well, there were. Over... I'm a right or I'm a right. Well, there were over 200 women at the meeting, and uh, uh, only around 50 of us voted mm. to keep it single sex or to make it single sex because they already made it male inclusive in 2018. Mm. So what about the other one where it's um, uh, just male inclusive? Do trans men why go in the men's don't, one? Why don't women go in there? In, in the men's pond. Yeah, do, yeah. Do trans men well, they go can. They've got trans the men do go well. in there. They're all inclusive. The, the policy, as far as I uh, believe, is the entire Corporation of London, the entire City mm. of London um, Council 
every single one of their single sex spaces is trans inclusive. But it's driven away religious what people. The, woke the, 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 the Hasidim won't swim there. They used to the religious Jews and some of the Muslims. They won't go there now because effectively they see it. There's it women going in there. Not just religious women. My mother, who's 79, well, yeah. she won't go there. You want young girls Your going if young. some men are, are trying to be sexual about it and using it as a Trojan horse to see, look at young children or women. But you know, why? why we... I do not understand why this is a minority of a minority. And I, d I know a number of, of people who've transitioned. You wouldn't even know that they weren't what they are today. You wouldn't know. They don't some make any fuss about it. You would talk about it. I mean, some people, sadly, they transition and they still have quite male sort of um, sounding voices or whatever. But they walk, a lot they don't. walk like, yeah. And so why has this, which is a... Mu this is a serious subject. No, I won't. And I will actually... always tell in the war. No, I, can I, tell I, you. I will actually <laughs> no, have you say the shoulders. Serious. The hips don't lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. But he, you know, it's some people Actually's simply don't good, have the wiggle. Um, and you have to stop this. I mean, I remember what happened. I, when I told you off I the other day. Be. You nearly got done then, yeah. and you might I'm nearly get done man. again. I'm on the edge. So why has this, which affects a minority of a minority, and Ollie was talking about it earlier because. You know, he was, when I first met him, as I said before, he was well on his way to becoming a Korean woman. Mm -hmm. Now, it sounds a bit silly, it does. but you, uh, you, you were trying to fix on career, you loved Korea, and you wanted to become a Korean would woman. Would you have gone in the women's pond if you'd have gone to Hampstead, or would you go um, in the mixed pond? I wouldn't have gone in the pond at all. No, but say, <laughs> your, well, say if you were, there was a woman. Yeah, I wouldn't swim in... Well, say it was a gym for water. just women, or... And, um, would you go well, in? I mean, I would still use the men's facilities because I was a guy, but, and, you know, sometimes I'd walk into toilets and the men would be like, you're in the wrong toilet, because I did actually look pretty feminine, and I was like, oh, no, 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 it's fine, then they hear my voice, and they're like, okay, okay. But no, I would either use, like, either, a, you know, a toilet that was, like, a disabled toilet that a disabled person wasn't using, it yeah. was empty, or mm. just use a mental Even toilet. if you'd had the operations, though, does that make a difference? Uh, I, I don't think it makes a difference. I mean, yeah. you know, just yeah. because they've gone to an extra extreme length, it doesn't yeah. give them the right, the same rights as women. Yeah. Yeah. They'll never be women, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. They can identify in a certain way. Great, as long as you're happy. Yeah. But, you know, you're not going to take away women's rights. But if you didn't know that somebody, because they transitioned and they'd done mm. it, you know, quietly, they did it because that one, and they were in their 30s, uh, you wouldn't know. And so why why has this minority? Oh, yeah, yeah. He wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. We would all know, just because you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, I find that slightly offensive, actually. Why? And I'll tell you why. Why? Because there are a lot of people who have transitioned quietly, done it because they have felt that's necessary, and have become very relaxed. What I don't understand is why some of these loud-mouthed ones, like the one I had a go at the other night, Mm. Um, who uh, think they can do whatever they I'm, I'm Well, look at India women. Willoughby with what's yeah. her name, Harry Potter mm. woman. I'm for, wi I'm for women's rights, and India, in India Willoughby is a just a bit, you know. Mm. I used to know her quite well, but I don't know what's wrong with her. But the question is I'm JK Rowling now suing her. The question you know I mean? I'm That's trying to get an She's answer too classy, to too She's too classy. is mm. how has this become such a big subject when it affects so few? Can I answer that? It's, I wish you would. It, it's become a big... There's very few... It affects very few men who say that they're women, but it affects all the women that have to share the spaces with them. That's another question. Mm. Why is it so many men want to become women and very few women want to become men? Or it seems like that to me. Well, that's... That's depending on age. So yeah. you never really see that many uh, middle-aged heterosexual women transitioning into mm. men. Mm. But you have got this new co cohort of teenage girls, which is quite worrying because te I think there's been a 5,000% increase. It's a youth culture. like It's like being a gothic of, of now, isn't girls it? Because they get all the attention and also a lot of them are neurodiverse. They found 70% are like autistic or I don't know. You'd probably know better statistics. Yeah, I did actually that. research. But, you, but the majority of kids now transitioning are girls wanting to mm. be boys. Yes. And the danger of that we're seeing in America, some of them are actually having their breasts cut off without yes. parental consent. Mm, so really. it's become so, and so the binders extreme. at John Lewis that was a mm. disgrace, wasn't it, it? It's disgraceful. And, you but know, why has society Society accepted it in the way you Cowardice, were saying. Isn't it? You know the local mm. authorities, and why do they? Do, do you mind being in, swimming with a man or not? I don't mind swimming with men when I'm in a normal swimming place. Like I yeah. go to the mixed pond with my sons. Yeah. But when I'm in a female-only space, I expect it to be a female-only space. Mm. I don't want to. What well, I said in my speech that they were creating a porn fantasy set for these men. Yeah. Because when That's I, a very you know, good way of doing it. when I was a young woman and I used to swim don't there. Don't even think about it. 
uh, you know, my male friends it. would be like, whoa, I'd love to go in there. You know, this fantastic few, oasis. It's of, an opportunity. Of course, there's naturally going to be a you few You know some people. very strange men, that's all I can say <laughs> to you. Oh, I'd love to be a fly on the wall in there, but now it's actually happening. It used to be a bad joke in the 1990s. How often do you go there? I, I've, I, I've decided, well, I was going, you know, quite a lot in the summer, but now, after that meeting, I've said, you know, I'm not going back until... No, I wouldn't. I mean, it's until, full of, until yeah. I'll go to the next party. Do you think it'll cause a change? But hang on, it'll be full of ducks. I hope so. it's, about, it's about standing up, and women should refuse. Just with sports, women should refuse. All come together and yeah. say, we're not going to compete against the man. It's but not they have, fair. haven't they? You and, never and, get and trans have, men winning... But we need a, all women to You speak never up. get trans men winning against Why women, do you? Mm -mm. Mm. It's just misogyny, isn't it? It's just... Yeah. It is, it is. But, but the minority have control because of cowardice. People are scared of being it's called a transphobe. It's those loud activists. Or... It's the trans activists that, you know, represent a small minority of people. They also represent a small minority of some trans but people. But it's the cowards you know. on the other side giving in to them. I mean, exactly. It's like, why cave into the woke mob? We saw, you know, again, pro-Palestinian protests this today. Is, this is super, super aggressive, They're being super enabled. Violent, You've opened the gates to the enabled. barbarians. All right, so calm, you... calm down. So basically, this is something that I think we are moving away from now. I hope you agree. I think the woke wallies have lost it. And I think within probably 5, 10, 15 years, I think things will go back to the way they were because I can't see this ridiculous, stupid situation. I, you know, I'd like to go uh, into a men's only club sometimes and just sit mm. with men and... Men you know, might get called transphobic for well, not being trans yeah, inclusive. I might. <laughs> there was that one, called, I don't mean called? gay nightclub. The one where you <laughs> used to wear the toga. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Pleasure Dome. The Pleasure I, Dome at Waterloo. I go to heaven regularly. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I, I, I don't, you know... Nothing it, else. Loads and loads of women, this is interesting, who complain about men-only spaces. Um, and I think women should have women-only spaces. I think women should be entitled, as they are, to have waiting rooms just for women on, on trains and, uh, and places like that. But so should men, because mm. there are some men who who actually don't want to be around anyone other than a man. I'm we not might want to talk about, about war and man's things, you I'm, know, that might I'm make a woman traumatic. I'm not talking about gay people. Do you just stop leaning over towards me like that, please? Mm. Uh, I'm not talking about gay issues. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Chuck, Sorry. I need a word with you after the show tonight, seriously. You hired him. Yeah. No, I didn't. It's I just got fault. left with him. I hired because him. I hired him, actually. 25 years ago. This I got might be his last show. Hmm. We'll see. Might just be me next week. Why? What do you think? You're in charge? Mm. No, you're not in charge. And we'll so see. Find out next yeah. week. Um, Venice, so uh, what is the way forward for this? I mean, when is this going to stop? The way forward is that women and also men who believe in reality take back control. Yeah. We've got to take back control. Won't it naturally happen in a cycle? I, I don't... Well, I think it naturally happen that by, at some point, every single one of those middle-class people in that room in Hampstead who voted for single... Mm. You know, for our single-sex space to be destroyed, they will all know a detransitioner. They will all know a woman who's been you know, flashed at in a woman only space. So that's the end, but hopefully we can get there before be that. And we can prevent yeah, yeah. those children making mistakes. We can prevent women getting attacked. Did you get any kind of uh, violent comeback? People sort of. Well, it was a woman only meeting. Apparently, there were two. Um, transvestites there, but um, you know, it's, women generally aren't that physically aggressive, and it was it was very no, emotional. No, I mentioned social trans media. Really. Are, social media. Oh, they gave up on me years ago, um, James. <laughs> I've been campaigning on this issue since 2017. They tried it at the beginning. They go for the new new women. Yeah. And you know who they like? Maybe you're going to be scared off, but I think they they know that. But I'm violence amongst scared. trans women is exactly the same as violence among men. The statistics of of, of the pro. Mm. pro yeah. Well, I think it's actually violence. higher. Like because if you look at um, incarceration statistics, yeah. there's a much larger percentage of the people, the men who identify as trans are violent and sexual offenders than just regular men. Mm. And Ollie, what about you? How do you think uh, it's going to go? Well, I was just going to say we got on that particular point, you know, sometimes when we see statistics of there's an increase in female violence for criminals, mm. that is because the trans prisoners are being ticked off as women. Well, that happened the other day we, with the cat blender. We've murderer. seen in America like yeah, at least yeah. five or that six man, mass man, shooters obviously. that were trans. And it skews mm. the figures for research in the future. Absolutely, that and, and that's another dangerous thing as well. You know, women generally aren't violent. Of course you get the odd few 
you. 95% of murders are done Especially these Palestinian protests. But, you know, most of them aren't. So when you're uh, including a man and saying it's a woman mm. legally and putting that on the record, it, it, it skews totally. everything. Yeah. So it's, it's everything. totally wrong. And I think, mm. like you said, James, there is hope, but everybody has to speak up now. And I think enough people are awake. Two years yeah. ago, people mm. weren't speaking about this. Now we're I, all speaking absolutely. up. Absolutely. And I think you two should get together and probably mm. uh, do some campaigning mm. together. In the unisex yeah. pond. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> What have I struck Make here? Sure there's no one uh, thank you, you both Irish. very much indeed. Nice Thanks so much. I'm tomorrow. sure we will talk again soon. And you need to learn to love dogs. <laughs> I <So> will. <laughs>feel like you're not part of the conversation that you're not getting the full picture on the important issues or the stories that impact your life jim who was on in the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation blew us out of the water well at talk tv we cover the issues you care about i would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise give them one then with proper debate and argument we tell it how it really is and have some fun along the way talk tv for the stories that matter Very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And you're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman. Is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh, Ooh. It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, listen. <laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth plinth. Mr Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, uh, it's, I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue, then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans... Sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So anyway, <laughs> just, 40 yeah. minutes, 40. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, t when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail her. We're supposed to, supposed to was have moved on from era. that. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth.
right, welcome right. back. Let's take some phone calls. Zero three four 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 nine. Don't leave me hanging. 1, Where's the number? On Talk Radio, Talk Television, you can see us on the screen. Uh, and if you're there. on Talk Radio, you can or probably transition a bit longer, uh, a bit to Talk TV. Took a bit uh, too long. Uh, while you're uh, listening, uh, be there somewhere beside you. Uh, Dave is in Newcastle. Dave, good evening. Hi, hi, man. Where are you, man? You can't Hello. say that. Oh, can I? I'm a quarter Geordie. You've just culturally Yes, Dave, what can we do for you? It's quiet now. It's a fish. This is Dave from Sunland. Are you sure? The Mackham. For some reason, the idiot who took the call put down Newcastle. That's really serious. So there we are. I'm, I'm going to have to get rid of Dave somebody. Dave from here. Sunderland. Yes, Dave from Sunderland. Right. Says Newcastle. Yes. Yeah. Uh, last, I want to ask James, does he believe in democracy? He wants to ask if you believe in democracy. Dave, Do I believe in democracy? Yeah, man. Dep depends yeah. what democracy you believe in. Dave, he says it depends what he be you believe in. What, what, type what of... is democracy then, Dave? Dave, it's what... Newcastle, it... bloody Dave. You Newcastle, Dave, now. Dave, can I say something? Yes. Bye-bye. Uh, 0344 Cindy is in Michigan, USA. Hi. Oh, you called before, hello, Cindy. Greetings. Hello. How Hi. did you do? Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Uh, you know, James, <laughs> James, you asked a question, and I've called Good. with an answer Have for you. Have a nice you. day. That's what is the question? You asked. I asked. You, the do, question man. that you asked, you asked, what is the way forward for this trans issue? Yeah. And, well, Kelly J. Keene has started a political party yeah we've had her on many times the par yes she has started the party of women so if women and men of the uk sign up and join at partyofwomen.org mm. those changes party of women. Org. the irony is men can join yes. the party of women <laughs> no men well men can join too you know it's the irony it's, of yes, it is this absolutely. a bigger cindy <laughs> Is this as big a yes. problem in America as it seems to be creating here? I mean, the issue isn't that big. It's because, huge. Is it? Huge. Huge. And are, they, always worse, are they at school letting people decide at that age whether they want to change their sex or not? We have all of the indoctrinations going on in the school, in the schools, as well as the books. Uh, things like that. So I, I don't have children, but I watch the news a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, it's going on here. And also the surgeries. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I do feel it's a way to, uh, what is it, um, when you don't want, when people don't want their children to be gay, they try mm -hmm. to change their sex. Some it's, people do say that. Conversion. Mm -hmm. Conversion therapy is what it is. Mm. So they don't want to say uh, they're gay, so they say they were born in the wrong body. And how, how uh, as you uh, approach the election, how is uh, Biden and Trump looking on this particular issue, do you know? Uh, Biden is very, very liberal. So <laughs> there's a big X on him <laughs> from me. <laughs> Trump is not, not so liberal. He's conservative, so he's got my vote. Yeah, a lot of people, I mean, I'm, I actually think Trump made a, a huge difference for the better, for the American oh, people. Yes. It might not have been oh, that, yes. the, you know, the publicity outside America was very good, but individual Americans mm. did much better off. Unemployment was down the economy. Yeah. There were no wars, no yes, real wars. We, we, you know, I think that we all had more money in our pockets. Yeah. And he that's was a strong what, leader. Where it really counts. He was a very strong yes. leader with China yes, as well. He was anti-China. Everyone do, else's. Do people over in America, like we do here, uh, laugh when they see Biden speaking? Uh, myself and my friends do. Yeah, because he. he <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Mm. Okay, it's very embarrassing. The most powerful man in the world he's, does seem to have seen old dementia, and it's 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 very sad, actually, isn't it? It is. It's very sad. But you know, when he gave the um the speech to the people, his biggest speech, it was last week, yeah. State of the Nation. Yeah. Mm. 
They seem to have given him uh, some medication uh, yeah, of some sort, maybe through a... I, I mean, I don't know for a fact. Or yeah, anything, he was buzzing, wasn't he? He was I'm buzzing. Assuming yeah. he was, yes, yes, thank you. Maybe yes, an amphetamine he was. or something? Or something. Could be a steroid. Mm -hmm. It would have been maybe a doctor, perhaps. though. It would have, it would have yeah. been a prescribed. Yeah. So listen, Unless how, he saw his son sure. before. Yeah. Maybe he saw his son before. What time of day is it in The Michigan? White House toilets. <laughs> Stop it. What time is it in America? Powder hanging around. I'm I'm five hours uh, ahead of you. No, you're five hours ahead of me. Okay. Oh well, we'll tell you what's so happened. I'm... It's uh, it's quite nice actually. Five hours from where you are. <laughs> You'll be all right. Cindy, good to talk to you. Keep uh, watching and listening on YouTube. That's where we are. Thank you very much indeed. Um, choke it. In, choke it or choke it if you prefer. Uh, in Birmingham. All is choke. Oh, Shoker. Show, we, I was is right. Is this the old Shoker that used to ring us? I don't know. Yeah. What, what 20 years ago? Tell, can you both tell me who gassed 6 million Jews? Well, is it who, the Nazis? Who, is I it? think it was the Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. Nazis, Hitler. So where should the, the state of Israel should be? In well, also Germany. in the Middle East, the guy, the Mufti, promised to murder for Hitler. He met Hitler. He said he promised to murder, do his job in the Middle East. State of Israel should have been in Germany as luckily, a small well, they, they didn't want it in Germany, did they? And luckily, Britain beat the Turks out of uh, the Middle East. Yeah, and then, Well, it caused a bit of a kerfuffle, mm. but I mean, it, listen, Choker. Let me say to you, it it probably could have been handled better, but it's in the past, and we have to move on from where we are now. Choker, thank you, James in uh, Derby, Dudley. Dudley? Dudley. Dudley? Oh, right. OK, Dudley. Uh, James, you're on the air. The modern world was invented in Dudley. OK, haven't got time for this. Let's James, he's the there. Time. I can hear him. James, Jim. Yeah, yeah. What do you hello, want to hello. say, James? That's fine. Uh, right. Um, regarding the, the conversation about um, William Bil Wilberforce and the slavery, yes. well, one of, the, one of the more greater people who was involved in the anti-slavery movement was a guy named Farrell Buxton. Now, this guy um, was an MP for Weymouth, and there's quite a nice statue, well, obelisk, uh, erected to him in Weymouth now. And this guy, um, he was not only one of the founders of the abolition uh, of slavery, but in my opinion, he was far greater in the movement because... Why do you think he didn't get recognition for it? I don't know. It seems to be Wilberforce all the time, doesn't it? Everybody quotes Wilberforce all the time. But but this guy, he was also instrumental in the abolition of a practice in India called Suti. Yeah, where the woman jumps you, on the fire. No, she doesn't jump on the fire. She's thrown on the fire. Oh, they're thrown on it's it. Not, well, some of them actually run yeah. onto it. Yeah, yeah, well... I don't know what the um, still goes on. What the, the, what the, yeah. what the incentive? I don't know what the incentive would be for a woman to run onto a fire. Well, they say they go to heaven with them, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah but but basically, if if they didn't want to go, I mean, there was very little alternative, weren't there? Really, if they didn't want to go on the fire, they'd but be what, thrown on the fire. What has that got to do with slavery, though? Uh, well, what I was saying about about Mr. Buxton. He was not only a great, a great mover and shaker in the anti-slavery movement and the a abolition, <coughs> but he me. also <laughs> brought in this this anti suti thing as well, mm -hmm. which which which, as far as I'm concerned, is like a bi a big plus. I agree. In the there'll be a uh, lot of unsung heroes that you never heard of. That's the problem. As history goes on, things get forgotten. James, I mean, no one remembers Mijur did band aid with Bob Geldorf. What's that got to do with it? Well, he's been yeah, forgotten, exactly. and it wears yeah, a statue that? to yeah. Midjur. Well, Bob Geldof, I think he ought to throw himself on a fire as Thank well. Thank you, God. James. Oh. Bit stupid. Let's talk to Michael, who's in the uh, West Midlands. Michael. Hello, James. Hello. Wolverhampton. In Wolverhampton. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. used to listen to you a long time ago on the other station, mm. which I'm not supposed to mention. You can obviously. mention anything you like. Well, Who told sport? you you yeah, couldn't yeah. mention anything? Yeah, I think you're wonderful. Hang on. Stop just a minute. Wonderful. Stop. Will you? Listen, Sorry. what's her name? She hasn't been on before. I don't it's want her back. Phyllis. No. I, d Phyllis. Isla, I don't want her back. She's not working else, on the show again. I want Isla back. No, She's great. I'm, yeah, I'm I don't a fan of Isla. Fan. You into trouble. But yeah. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Thank and you, Michael. I, 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 you still, you still he's he's telling me I'm absolutely wonderful, wonderful. yeah. 
carry on what you're doing. Cause thank, I'm thank, from thank, well, you have to for another hour. I mean, we're <laughs> probably not supposed to mention after the trouble you had before with Wolverhampton. But I think what trouble, what trouble have you? What trouble has he had in Wolverhampton? I love you all. Hold on, you all, hold on, yeah. Michael. What's that, what's trouble in Wolverhampton for a while? Yeah, yeah, because that, that's when you were on your talk show on the other radio. And what did he say to upset Wolverhampton? No. Yeah, yeah, you had a phone call from somebody in Wolverhampton. And what happened? Yeah, Tell us what happened. That. I don't, well, yeah, something about a murder or something. Tell us. Yeah, hang on, can I just say this? I never worked in Wolverhampton. I never got into trouble for talking about a murder, so I think you think I'm You would say that, though, wouldn't you? No, I'm just telling you. Oh, do you think I'm... Oh, no, never mind. Uh, Colin in... Uh, where's that? Hampshire. Hampshire. Colin, good evening. Don't know what that Hi, was James. all about. You check um, it out. Yes, Colin. And uh, I've been wanting to ring you guys up. Have you got anything um, to talk about, Colin, or just want to talk rubbish and get me annoyed? No, 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 it's not, no, not rubbish. It, uh, when get I to it. Out, we'll okay. decide whether I, it is. I went to Stagecoach, the bus company... To yep. renew a, 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 a bus timetable. I took the effort to walk down there today. Yeah. I saw the guy at the bus station uh -huh. and he said, you've got to get it off the internet. Now, I'm computer illiterate. Well, then, an era. then maybe you, you have need to stay to get home then, right? You just if have you, to stay if home. you don't know, this is a, a problem with old people. It is okay? ages, though, I agree. No, it's not. It is. Why should old, old people have to? They can't they, do it. Their minds can't because, handle it. Look at you when you're on your phone. You're like this. <laughs> because <laughs> it is the way forward, all right? And if you don't <laughs> know how to do it, you you need... I do, oh, I yeah, goes, I'm doing it. Uh, uh, auntie Vaxxer? Who's that? Who's up. Auntie Vaxxer? Look, you need to get help, all right, Colin? I uh, think they yeah, should lock them away, because throw away be, the key. Very soon there will be no money... It'll all be on cards and online. There'll be no money. You just tap your phone to pay for stuff. It's dead well, simple. We do that now, yep. actually. Yeah, don't have cash. So you don't, don't know what's going on. You, you, you can't be and be proud of being computer or... What do they call it? People illiterate. who don't like t technology. The, um, what Idiots. Do they call it? No, there's a name for it. Idiots them, you know. will do. The, no, the people like the spinning I jennies, you know. About, I had learning difficulties. Well, we are, listen, I'm age, totally dyslexic. Age, you've totally. Got the help. But the technology age, can actually help people, you know, for learning with learning difficulties as well. It can be a... Mm. But my, my generation... How old are you? Were, were thick, How old are you? Upwards. They said that about giants. Quiet a minute. Yeah. How old are you? 66. Luddites. How old? Yeah, Luddites. 66. You're a kid, for goodness sake. To James, you're a child. Yeah. You should be in bed. What are you doing up at this time? Go to bed immediately, you Colin. Know, no supper. Find out where you can get help about this. Because eventually... I'm not understanding about anything much. You, you know, get yourself sorted. Only you can help yourself. You love And expecting everything to be as it used to be isn't mm. any way of, uh, yeah. of moving on. Nostalgia. There are ways you can get trained. I'm totally dyslexic, so I can't spell to save my life, as people will tell you. Uh, and I do dictate most of my letters and everything else, and quite often I forget to check them back. Um, Colin, I hope it gets sorted, but, you know, you, you've got to move with the times, man. We've all got to move with yeah, the man. times. Yeah, yeah. And we'll be talking to my old friend Charlie Mullins when we come back after That's the right, break. Yeah about the fact he may leave the country. Plumbing questions at the ready. Three, two, one, uh, go round. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. I mean, there's quite a lot of game playing going on here. Oh, don't start me on that. <laughs> there's a sort of feeling they ought to look as if they're doing something. So don't accuse anyone else of stoking culture wars. Such as the smoke and mirrors of, of politics. Ruminating and fulminating and debating and voting and God knows what. Said they couldn't back the party's position. But the government has got to be more flexible. It's starting to sound like a very expensive show, this, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This is Talk TV. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And you're on your smart speaker. 
Now, you ain't going to have an evit, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat girl. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman is not a woman. Trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm, I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I was just about to do it. Ooh, Ooh. It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <listen. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the mm. fourth blimp. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. Uh, that's quite a small statue then. <laughs> wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> ah, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> even, <laughs> for, yeah. even, for, Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what did fail her. Yeah, we're that supposed to have was moved another on from that. era. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> this helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Look, I'm getting ready for my new primetime show on Talk TV and Radio, 7 o'clock Saturday night, James Whale Unleash. I don't need you coming in here, following me around with a cow. I'm so sorry about this. Saturdays at 7 on Talk TV. Right, very good evening. Welcome to the James Whale Show Unleashed with him. Starring and, Ash. Uh, not at really, Virtual no. Ash. Uh, thank you for joining us. Final hour of the show. Don't forget, if you're easily upset, uh, this is not the show for you. Yeah, All right? Yeah. Don't go complaining to anybody you think you can complain to. I'm warning you, if you don't like a show like this, apparently I've been told today I'm a... What is it? I'm a I'm a genocide enabler. Baloney. Bal yeah, and and the other person Luddite, Luddite Mer, somebody said sympathizer. Somebody Gammon. Gammon. No, he hasn't and been some, called Gammon tonight. Not today, no, I'm sure uh, I will. You're a gammon. Clown. Yeah, you've somebody that called me clown. Yeah. And uh, various other things, but um, yeah. right. So well, uh, give us a ring zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Yeah, the number right. will be there. Now, as so, this country seems to sink lower and lower into wokery. Uh, one of my dearest friends, Charlie Mullins, entrepreneur, who... Uh, Charlie, good evening, first of all. Here he is. Charlie, you're uh, you're away, I know, at the moment, but uh, looking fine. Oh, Bonsoir. Nice. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Good suntan. Charlie rose from, you know, a uh, pretty humble beginning, Charlie, 
Uh, you worked your way right up, sold your business for an enormous amount of money. Um, but you have said recently that if Labour become the leading power in, if they, they get into government, that you're going to leave the country. Yeah, that's right. I mean, look, uh, unfortunately, I've, I've put a lifetime into working, or not unfortunately, but uh, into working in the UK and always paid my taxes and paid my fair share of everything. And, yeah. um, you know, I'm afraid to say that uh, with our current government, the way that they're operating, I'm just not prepared to put up with it much longer. And, and I believe that if Labour get in, that we're going to be such a lot worse off. I mean, they're, they're not very business orientated. And, and I just think it's going to get from, from bad to worse. And, um, you know, I've just had enough of it, basically. They're so anti-small and medium business, aren't they? They only want the big corporates. That's right. I mean, you know, they're, they're, I mean, look, the Tories are not doing a good job. They, they've actually been disastrous with everything lately. Yeah. Um, but I think if Labour get in, then, you know, most businesses, are, I think, are just going to suffer even more. And, uh, you know, and then they're more for the sort of illegals and migrants and immigrants and, you know, all the people that are poncing off the country, I suppose. Um, and I, I'm just sick and tired of it. Like, I'm not speaking for anybody else, mm. but many people I speak to, uh, they all, uh, they are going to leave the UK. They've had enough of it. Do if you... they can lose. Sorry, Charlie, do you think that if you were starting off again, remember all those years ago, you're starting off now, you would have been as successful from now, say, another 30 or 40 years in the future? Probably not, no, because I think, um, you know, I think that business is a lot more difficult now because, you know, just getting around from A to B is a nightmare, and, you know, with... Uh, the Mayor of London, you know, what he's done is ruined London, made it come to a standstill. So I would say no. It's the and the answer, red tape as well that you have to do, which is basically in the corporation's favours because they'll just hand it to an office, whereas a small business has to, you know... Uh, I mean, would you set up a new business in this country or would it depend on the election results? Well, look, irrespective of the election result, uh, I'm opening up a family business, um, which launches in September. And again, we'll be paying a, a fair share of the taxes and and contributing whatever we're told to contribute. And, you know, I'm sure that's going to be a major success, but, you know, I'm just not prepared to personally contribute any more to, um, you know, the, to the government mm. that are just... But you're yet. contradicting yourself. Why are you, are you positive on the business and then and then you're not positive individually? What, why is there a disconnect there? Well, on, from a business point of view, I mean, you know, I'm a successful businessman and, and that's not... That will continue. Yeah. And obviously, you know, the, the other great company I had, we've learned a lot of things where we can improve it and there's a big market out there for, for a top service. And um, so, so that's the plus. Yeah. Plus one, of the, one of the things, Charlie, which I think is exceptionally good is that you're setting up this new business to help people realise that to be successful in life, you don't have to go to university. You don't have to, uh, you know, go... Uh, being successful means you're a lawyer or whatever. You can be very successful having a trade, and we are getting less and less people wanting to go into that. We've got a lot of job vacancies yeah. and a lot of people not wanting the jobs. Are we becoming lazier? Uh, undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. I mean, you know, we, we, you know whether it be the youngsters or, or, or the 40-year-olds, we've got so many people now are lazy, work shy, benefit cheats, ponces, call them what you want. Yeah. But unfortunately myself and many other people that go out there and work hard are paying for it and, and I just feel that enough is enough. I mean, you know, I've put up with it for years of, of them wasting their money. They keep promising about the NHS that they're going to improve that. That's getting worse. Mm. This national insurance cut is going to affect them. Uh, the well, NHS that's a fraud because they, they've, they've fiscal drag will mean it's a load of we'll be paying more tax anyway. It's just a smoke and mirrors trick, that is. Why well, that, you... well, that's but yeah. anyone with half a brain can work out that yeah. you know it's too, too late, and and I don't think I don't think the British people are, are, are as stupid as they're treating mm. us, and you know we can see what's coming. And I'm just saying, I'm I'm saying what a lot of people are thinking. Enough is enough. They're not going to take the can't think of another word for what I should be saying. No, um, um, we know what you were thinking of saying, John. Yeah, but, yes. look, but as I say, the company will still be a family business, and it will pay its fair share of tax. Yeah, but I'm just not to use my money to mm. contribute you benefit do, You do realise that they will hold you to this, that if Labour get in, 
uh, a lot of the media will expect you to, to certainly say, right, I'm leaving, I'm going to go and live somewhere else. Where would you go and live? Oh, well, I've already sorted it. I mean, I'm, I'm in my bailer at the moment, so I have a place there, and I'm getting residency here and also residency in Dubai. So mm. it'd be between the two. I mean, look, if Labour don't get in, then, you know, I'll be backwards and forwards. But if Labour get in, I'll be spending the majority of my time abroad and I will remove my money from uh, from the UK, any investments I've got, any property I've got, and I'll put it elsewhere because if, if Labour get in, you know, the information I've picked up from bankers is that the pound's going to drop and it'll be like just equivalent to the dollar, which means, you know, you're going to lose a lot of money. And, you know, this ain't about a tax avoidance. This is just a matter of saying I'm standing up for myself. I'm fed how, up with these people. Like, how do you... Abuse. Sorry, Charlie. How do you get when you read... So I've read some pretty horrible things about you being, oh, well, it's only because you're so wealthy, only because of that. But you made yourself. You didn't come from money, did you? You made it all yourself. Well, that's right. I, I mean, you, you're exactly right. I started as an apprentice plumber and then, you know, formed Pimlico Plumbers and, as you said, sold it for a lot of money, I think 140 odd mil or something at the end. Um, but, you know, it wasn't nothing was given to us. It was done by hard work. And I think at the time, you know, I actually think that the Tories was encouraging businesses and sort of not necessarily helping you, but, you know, they, they, you know, I was working with Cameron and Osborne and we was getting apprenticeships going, but the, the latest lot, you know, they, they, they just don't seem to be what? caring about apprenticeships. Finally, let me ask you this, Charlie. What would you say, if Rishi Sunak is listening, I know he's a big fan, he's probably listening now. He'll be watching. If, um, uh, and watching. If you uh, could speak to Rishi Sunak, what would you advise him to do? Get better fitting suits. Well, I said but I'll, um, you know, I might say the first word. I would ask him to resign and let's see if the Conservatives can pull something out of the bag. And maybe, you know, if they could take on Farage, Johnson and Cameron, maybe they've got an opportunity. But without that, Cameron. I mean, you know, I think they're on a, they're on a loser. And, you know, I, as you know, I, I've always voted for them, but at the moment I can't vote for them. I should give them a few quid, but... but know, who would I'd you vote for in the election then? I Sorry? Who will you vote for? I probably won't vote, if I'm being honest, because, I, I, um, you know, I don't think I can vote for the service because... Reform? Reform part? And I don't, I could, well, I certainly couldn't vote for Labour because I believe they're going to be worse off. So, you know, well, I, I'm, I'm like many people. People don't know whether to vote or not vote. Yeah, and yeah. I think, they, you Do know, you th everybody... Everybody should make a stand now. Enough's enough. We feel you know. disenfranchised, don't we? Do you... Uh, yeah, well, I think you're right. Do you think the Green Party have ever got a chance of getting your vote, Charlie? Um, of my vote? Yeah. <laughs> oh, possibly, yeah. Really? I mean, uh, possible. Of course it with is. With all yeah. their net I zero mean, policies on the boilers and everything, and the Green... You know, I suppose <laughs> you'll get a lot of work out of with those heat pumps. <laughs> well, look, they, they, for me, it's not about the money... It's back to work, etc. I'm just feel that enough's enough and I'm fed up of our money being wasted that taxpayer puts in and, you know, they, they get off a boat, they give them a, a, an house, they give them money. They 15 them million a day. Sorry? 15 million a day. That's about, what, a billion, half a well, billion a month. You know, it's nonsense. We should be looking after our own people and, mm. and I believe I'm only saying what millions of people are thinking and, you know, many people, even a few business people I've been speaking to lately, they said, look, I've had enough of it. I'm gone from here. Uh, whether Labour get in on them or not, but they're gone. But I'm saying oh. I will definitely... I ain't, like, you know, just come up with this idea. I've thought about it seriously, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, why should I let these people waste my money any longer? Don't get me wrong, the new business, of course it pays tax, but I won't be drawing money from the new business, the family business, and, and you know, that's not about me kind of thing. But Charlie... Sorry, mate, we're yeah. running out of time, but I will uh, see you very soon, and I hope you don't have to uh, permanently move abroad. I won't be able to sort of pot round and moan at you. And can we do your new adverts? I want to be in the bath with him going, brickwork, plumbing, <laughs> roofs, Ignore toilets. him, Charlie. Ignore him, Charlie. He's just the worst. Yeah, no, James, I know I've said it before, congratulations on the MBE. I'm looking forward to your big day um, when you receive it. Thank you, Charlie. See you soon. Thanks, man. And I love Charlie's shirt, by the way. Yeah, yeah. And me. Um, but he makes a very good point. There are a lot of people, a lot of business, everybody, loads of people look down their noses at entrepreneurs. Yeah. And I've known Charlie a long, long time. 
and he worked really hard in building that business. Mm. Um, well, it created thousands of jobs. Yeah, and uh, and literally what he's going to do now is uh, he's going to create this business that helps yeah. kids learn a trade. And they earn more than doctors and lawyers. You can be 80, 100 grand as a plumber these can days. He? Yeah, yeah, 80 to 100 grand. You don't get that in an office or, no, or doing a junior no, doctor. Well, no. like, doctors do do well in the end, don't they? We yeah, well, it that. takes a bit to get them oh, there. But they yeah. moan, don't yeah. they? Moan, moan. But, you know, the way he started is he started working yeah. and got a, a plumber. A bit like himself. the upper fetus, yeah. isn't it? That yeah. sort of story. Not not yeah. really went to school much, mm. just determined. Failing a couple of times and just... Here we go. Let's get the calls going. 0344 Harvey is in Lincoln. Follow Jello. the finger. Harvey. Yeah, good evening, boys. Good evening. Yeah, Charlie Mullen is spoken as he should be spoken, and everybody in the country that's working, taxpayers like me. I'm an entrepreneur, two bob entrepreneur, but I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I've been I've been announced an entrepreneur by a judge. But it's the scroungers, the blue badges, and the free cars. We need to get rid of them. We need. They're costing me an absolute fortune. You scroungers know who you are. Well, you know hang, who you are. Hang, You're hang, driving around. Hang, in these... hang on, Harvey. Hang on, Harvey, just Sorry, a minute. Man. I've got one of those blue badges. No, he means a free thought, cars yeah, that they Oh, get. I thought I thought he meant a You can a probably disabled. get a free car, James, you know. James, Sorry. James, James, hey, Ash, I've just had a triple art bypass and a pacemaker. They can give me £333 a month, a blue badge and a free car. You can stick it. Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, I can't get and that. And you get just... free tyres whenever you burst a tyre. Free. Yeah, you don't have to pay any tyre. It I is ridiculous. It. Like. My father lost his leg to his groin when I was 11. They gave him nothing. Ooh, Absolute not even zero. remember those blue cars, those sky blue cars that they used to give to people. I thought he mended a disabled sticker for you. They now get Audi, Audis and really nice cars, you know. Mercedes! And they get Mercedes! Mercedes, Mercedes not. We're paying for the it. The, 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 the problem... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ash, Ash, Can you Ash. talk a bit louder? Yeah, we can't you, hear you. You're very quiet. All right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, I can't louder. talk any louder. Come on. My neighbour's the, about four, four the, acres away. Louder. Right here, the problem... <laughs> listen, Harvey, the problem is that, <laughs> that a lot of politicians don't realise exactly... They do now because... You know, they got us they got us through the pandemic and everything else. Let's well, not go so back well, about whether well, they did it right, but we're where well, we are. they didn't, did they? <laughs> no, but no. that's with the benefit no. of hindsight. But mm. we now need to take... dodgy contracts. You know, we now people. need to take responsibility for ourselves. When Charlie we... Mullins has just said, James, Charlie Mullins has just said benefit sheets. He's a multi-multi-millionaire entrepreneur who had nothing like me. We are watching the benefit sheets. That's what yeah. we're watching, James yeah. and Ash. We've yeah. got to stop it. Well, yeah. then maybe, it, Harvey, right? maybe people who feel as strongly as you need to stand for politics. Mm. Well, oh. stand, but who's going to let me in? Let, we always, let me just say what we want to do with the benefit cards. Oh, the blue back, the black, Harvey, the black, what business the, are you in as an entrepreneur? What do you actually do? I'm just interested. I started out at 15 as a motor trader and I have one or two properties and I've got a couple of businesses. I'm 60 mm. now. I've got to try and retire. But that's what I've done all my life. I've worked yeah. and paid my <clears> taxes. <throat> Well, Harvey, nice I want to hear you on the show again, OK? Yeah. So we get some some proper But speak response. up next time. Uh, I will, Ash, I will. But yeah. Charlie Mullins has said it all. Could you, sell, could you sell me a car now, Harvey? Yes, you sir. can buy one from me, but I'll never sell it you because what? you have to buy it. What That's type of cars do you sell? Is it luxury cars? No, I sell bags of shit. No, no, I sell No, we like those. We like bags of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everybody shit. can buy a bag of shit. I don't agree with finance. I don't agree with finance. I had an HPR. I had a, I had a fine. Well, I don't need finance. No. Get under the floorboards. Get your dough out. Don't yeah, give it save, <laughs> save up. Yeah. Um, you've brightened our day up, Harvey. Thank you very much indeed. That's Harvey sells crap cars. Um, yeah, and uh, if I could get a car, that would be great, but I'm not allowed yeah, to drive yeah, anymore. Quite right. Um, yeah, probably. Martin in West Sussex. Hi, Martin. You're on the air. Hi, Marty. Hello. Hello, hi. Um, I wanted to talk about the Lord Balfour uh, portrait, which was... Martin, stop. Before most... we, Martin, stop. You've got your TV or your radio on in the background. Why? All right, I'll turn it up. All you, right. You were I'll surely asked really to do that, otherwise you yes. won't be able to hear me. Did Phyllis ask you? No, I'm sorry, I apologise. OK, I'll... Um, I mean, okay. Martin. Sorry, I wanted Martin. I to talk about the Lord Balfour painting, which yep. was... Painted by um, De Laszlo, who was one of the most highly regarded portrait mm. painters uh, in the Western world. How much would that painting have been worth, approximately? That's a different one to the one we were showing. It's not it, the it, same. It, no, one. but the same painter did it. How much would yeah, that painting be? It doesn't matter. It doesn't well, matter. It does a bit the when they sue them. All right. Sure. Yeah, well, the insurance is only what they put on 
for, you know, as an estimate. They don't really know what it's worth because it's in a public collection. It's never going to be in private hands. And well, so yeah, they're, they're but other paintings of his must have been sold, so they'll know a guide price. Yeah, there, there is a guide price. So how much well, is why, it? Why, why should we? Why should we get ourselves involved so much with uh, the prices of and the values of things? It, it's the, the because they've got to pay for it. The person that slashed it has to pay for it. Well, fair enough. I, yeah, you're right. I suppose they got they got to pay pay for it. But it's these middle class people yeah. who have got this. They've got a guilty conscience, and they're trying to solve their conscience. White saviour, any... infantilising ethnic minorities, thinking they're better than them, and they'll show them out. That's what they're doing. Patronising and racist, actually. Well, that's a yes. very good point. Thanks, Thanks Meg. Yeah. Don't know where yeah, it came so from. I, I agree that they are they are not sincere. In, Virtue signals. Hold signals. on a minute. Hold on no, a minute. Uh, it's Martin, nice to go back Martin on. we've got to take a break. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, when you do call and come in, hopefully little diddle Phyllis, or whatever her name tell is, him. Phyllis, uh, should tell you that uh, yeah. you need to turn your TV or radio down, whatever you're watching or listening, because you will hear the program down the phone. And as there's a sort of Seven second delay between TV and radio. Right, yeah. It'll confuse There's you. There's a number called us Follow the Finger. Me. Follow the what? Follow the Finger. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. I mean, there's quite a lot of game playing going on here. Oh, don't start me on that. <laughs> there's a sort of feeling they ought to look as if they're doing something. So don't accuse anyone else of stoking culture wars. Such as the smoke and mirrors of, of politics. Ruminating and fulminating and debating and voting and God knows what. Said they couldn't back the party's position. But the government has got to be more flexible. It's starting to sound like a very expensive show, this, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaker. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. All right, oi, oi, treat go. When JK Rowling says, let's just be honest, it's all she's saying, let's just be honest. When a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right, too. Yay. Quite Yay. right, too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. They might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, <missing. laughs> There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. So he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream, or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic, and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, what, did fail her. Yeah, it was another era. She was 22, mm. we're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth.
How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. <laughs> Illness helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Uh, right, welcome back. Uh, Talk TV and radio together uh, here on uh, YouTube, many other places on... I only say YouTube because that's the way Just get us on YouTube. Mm. You can, I do anyway already, but when we go off to normal telly, YouTube is the place to lots get us. Lots and lots of people saying, uh, well done to Charlie, they agree with him. Um, yeah. Except for some idiot who says, uh, what was it? Blame the disabled. Always the disabled, isn't it? Nothing to do with all the illegal immigrants coming here. It's still Harvey no. is a... The genuine that's disabled a, that's a suffer Harvey from all these vote. people leeching off it who yep. aren't genuinely. There's, there's about a, a, well, million, Harvey's a, long a lot term, of people. long-term mm. life benefits now. Yeah. A lot of it. And there are, you know, if, if you want, if you can work and you want to work, there'd probably be a job you can do. Yeah, but a lot of people from as genuine, well genuine people. now think so many jobs are beneath them, they'd rather stay on... Stay in bed. And they get paid too much on yeah. the social. Their yeah. rent paid and everything. It's not worth their while, which is terrible. Way Let's talk do. to John in Newcastle. He's not the one we spoke to already, is he? Hey, hey, man. Can't be very cross <laughs> if he is. Uh, John, good evening. Oh, look, Phyllis is back. Hello to you both. Basically, my point of view is I can go back the decades... And the reality is that when I left school, I was told at 15, you get a job. And if you didn't take a job, you'd got a first choice. If you didn't take it, you got a second choice. Yep. And if you didn't take it, you got a third choice. Yep. But yep. after the third choice, wow. your benefit stopped. And that's, where, that's hey. why it's work shy, because you should stop the third one. You, sh you don't get any more benefit. Yep. I got a job. Oh, yes, I got a job. Because you can't live on benefit. If we all live on benefit, how long will we last? So you were a layabout until they prodded you and said you've got to go to work oh, now, John. No, no, I actually got a job before I was... Well, I was 15 years yep. and three months, to be exact. How old are you now, John? Uh, going on 79. Ah, a bit younger oh, you're than a, you. You're a bit younger. older than me. Um, well, just a little... But what I would say, James, is this. That I've, over the decades, I've seen the Conservatives, I've seen Labour... It's like a seesaw, back and forwards, back and forwards. We need something new in this country. We need reform. We need Nigel Farage. We need, uh, we need, uh, you know, the reform party. We do. We need a different view on politics. Whichever party it is, I'm not going to say because I, yeah. I'm of slightly of the um, opinion that probably the party we should have, or the, oh, excuse me, the form of democracy we should have. <laughs> Is it some of my tablets? Among no, sir, um, I do. Is um, is not not around you? Oh God, John. What what job have you what job have you got, John? Uh, well, I've I've been retired for about. Oh, lie about, a lie about. Oh, you should no, be working no. at seventy nine. Uh, you should well, be back uh, at work. Uh, well, uh, laying <laughs> on your bed, smoking fags. Well, <laughs> never mind. Uh, but we must have a change. The problem is, John. You are so right. When I. Left school. I left school at sixteen. Get the Hovis music. You, yeah, get the Hovis music out. You, you either you got, got yourself cinema. a job, Five uh, or they they pointed you towards the military, you get a bomb, and yeah. you could get into the military. And as you quite rightly say, you would get uh, you get the chance three times, and if you didn't uh, get jobs right. three times, then you would get no benefit. And the problem yeah. with young people today, just to finish off, sorry, John. Um, is that everybody seems to expect they get everything for nothing. I didn't have, yeah. you know, the most expensive trainers. There were no mobile they phones. They hadn't invented in trainers. You had yeah. pumps. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you could only buy what you could afford. Now, yeah. everybody... Yeah. Oh, shit. And you could go yeah. to the cinema, have a lovely slap-up meal, and you still have change seems, John, from to four think ducats, three guineas and in, six. Will you shut up? Everybody seems, John, that's enough, that they are entitled to everything, whether they work for it or not. And they are these days, that's the trouble, and that's why they're enabled. Again, like everybody else in this woke society, it's the kids' fault. But the new kids are apparently very good, mm. aren't they? All right, John, very good point. Thank you, sir. Get rid of that music, I hate it. Uh, Brian in Northamptonshire. Brian, you're on the air. Good evening. Hi, James. Hi. 
Ash. Brian, yeah. what Brian. can we do for you? The pair, the pair of you, I, I like your programme, but I can't stand you talking over each other. No, I well, we don't talk over each other. We never do a, that. It's bad manners, mm. and B, it, it, it completely blows my brain. Well, no, Brian, no, we don't talk Brian, over each other. Brian, hang on. We never do that. Shut we up. We don't talk over each other. Shut up. Brian. Yes. Go and watch something. We never do that. Will you shut up for Brian, we never talk over each other. We always leave each other Brian, gaps. Brian, will you, will you go and find something else that is more agreeable to you? Because this really, you know, you're not enjoying it. Why would he you want to it. listen? You're enjoying it, though, aren't you, Brian? I do, I do enjoy your show. Well, what are you moaning I about, do, then? But I can't... Why can't I moan? Well, well you can not moan, but it seems... It seems no, pointless. No, I like him. No, you're, you're being unprofessional when you're talking over each other. Oh, shut up. Go away, no, Brian. I'm professional. What would Brian know about? Well, you wouldn't know anything about that we're talking you over each other. We'd never do that. Uh, I didn't miss him. I just I didn't want to hurt him. I was too quick. One uh, Jonathan is in... Uh, where's that? Chelmsford. Chelmsford. Yeah. Jonathan, Johnny, welcome. I've got too many times. One thing I've got to say is this. We are treated like ping-pong balls. Conservative... Labour, they treat us like shit. Excuse my oh. friend, sorry, John Square. Sorry, John Square. Yeah, sorry, right. I'll let you out. It's over. Passionate. It's passionate. It's over. Yeah. yeah, he's right. But the other thing is, why have, have we never have we never listened to listen to politicians who basically want to keep their jobs? I think, I think, I agree. Listen, Jonathan, I agree. But listen, this is another big problem. The people who are advising politicians, I think basically on all sides of the House, politicians are too weak. And I think the people who cowards, are advising the them, who become political advisers, are too young and don't know anything. And we've got ourselves into this situation where people, weak people get elected and then they sit there and their advisers tell them, oh, this, this and this, and their advisers know... People that tell on. the truth, like Suella Braverman, get the sack. Look at the MP last week, he said, there's no go errors. And we went, oh, you're racist, you're right. And then it comes out, oh, yeah, they're right, and everyone agrees. And they're full of, mm. as the word you said. Yeah, you're right. You know, Jonathan, I go, you know, you, you're absolutely right. All I would say, Jonathan, is more people like you mm. need to stand for politics. The silent majority. But how yeah. we, we change the politics? How we change the politics polls? Yeah, you're right. We need a, ref, a reformation of the system, don't we? Yeah. Change the system. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, yeah. It's always, it's so, I mean, this year we've got a vote. I can't vote because I don't have a, what do you call it, uh, I don't have an election card or something like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I've been in the army. You just have you not got a passport or driving licence? No. Oh, yeah, you're knackered. They shouldn't have brought that law in. Mm. They shouldn't have brought that in. Because it's, 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 it's expired. Mm. All right, Jonathan. I can't vote anymore now. We'll get a new until one. Yeah. I'm going to have to go face to face and say, this is my face. All right. Um, Jonathan, you make a very, very good point. I would like to see... Voting made mm. compulsory. And no postal votes. No postal votes. I mean, well votes. done to George Galloway, who compulsory. doubled the postal uh, votes. Well, yeah, you've got, got people really voting. Uh, Nicola in Birmingham. Buckinghamshire. Nicola in Birmingham? No, I'm in Buckinghamshire. Oh, yeah, I think we got over that. Nicola, oh, what can we do for you? It's you again. Oh, yes, I've run up before. I'm, oh, no. I'm a great uh, fan of yours. I oh, know. You've got... You've got the title of James Whale, is it? James and a whale, is that right? Thanks, Nicola. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you got anything sensible to contribute Are or you not? you drunk? Don't be silly. You can't accuse no, me of that. It's well, James and a whale, is it? Is, is that it? a whale sitting next to you? Is yeah. that a person? Oh, I see. You're trying to be funny. <laughs> or Bye, take Nicola. A note of that. Uh, Jonathan, who is in uh, Chelmsford. So I think I'm sure. Yeah, Jonathan. In the next election... Did we speak to How Jonathan? many people do you think are going to vote? No, we didn't, do we? I don't know how many people he, he wants to know are going to vote. Well, I hope at least 80% of the country, but I fear it'll probably be something... It might be over 50%. I doubt it. It'll but 40, probably 30, not. 35. I think and people... I think what James... And you, you, I, think honestly, I think people are so oblivion, they don't really care anymore. Yeah. Jonathan, I think you're right. Thing. Jonathan, They've kicked it out of us. thank you very much indeed. When I find the idiot who left Jonathan on after I finished with him and moved on... There's a lot of you out there going to lose your jobs, aren't there? A lot of you are going to lose your jobs. Um, I say it whenever I like. Don't tell me what I can say. Uh, Jan in uh, Surrey. Jan, Jane. 
Jane. Jane in Surrey. Jane in Surrey. You're on the air. Hiya. Well, I'd just like to say, um, you know, look what uh, Conservatives have done to this country. Mm. If Labour get in, it will be a thousand times worse. I think we do, and I know people don't like the fact, we need someone like Nigel Farage and Tommy oh, Robinson. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jane. I think uh, Nigel would not be interested. He couldn't take the pay cut. And the other name you mentioned, for goodness sake. Uh, Tan in Dudley. Tan. Hello, James. Hello, Ash. Tan, what can Um, we do for you? You know, last week I was in this demonstration in Birmingham. I was just walking past. And I got one guy and took him to the side and I says, Why are you here, mate? And you know what he said to me? What? He says... I'm only here because my mates are here. We're having a good time, that's all. I said, do you know why you're here, though? And he says, well, I just told you because I'm only here because my mates are here. It's ridiculous. These marches mm. need to be stopped. Mm. Oh, that, Well, you can't stop it because it's democracy, but you can try and educate people that they are saying things. I've just seen a, a bit on news online. You can here. ban them if they uh, get violent. Annie Lennox, who's uh, oh. now become a big fan of, you know, pa- Palestinians oh. and the Gaza. And... This yeah. I cannot believe. I'm going to show you this. If you're watching on uh, talk television here, you can hear it on. This is the appalling Charlotte Church, who's decided she knows Peace more about Earlier today in London, that was the scene, and you know, um, you know we've uh, got. We've got we've got a prime minister who is as useful as a handbrake on a canoe. Absolutely useless. Yeah. He's not doing anything yeah. about no, no, it. No. Tan, agree. Thank you for that. Patrick's in uh, Durham, Durham, County Durham, or in the city of. Hey, hey, Durham. Um, Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Hi. Hello, Ash. Hello, James. I just want to ring up about you're on about the state of the country. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you remember from a few decades ago, we used to have insider trading. Well, James, remember will remember that. that yeah. 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 yeah, well, well I do, do yeah, but go on. Yeah. Well, what we've got now is these politicians these days are not in it for the people, mm. they're in it for the bank accounts. Because when you get 24 members of the Cabinet sitting around a table in Downing Street deciding where all our taxpayers' billions go, yeah. what do you think happens when they leave that yeah. room? Yeah. Well, the PPE probably... contracts, they all leave multi-millionaires now, don't they? They all leave politics and they literally have loads of properties, multi-million pounds, don't they? That stinks, some of that, doesn't it? Well, a lot of it. Exactly, but they, they, every single member of them and their relatives should be investigated of where the investments. But they're running it. They're, they're running things, aren't they? That's the thing. They're... This is what's happening with the country yeah. at the minute. They're yeah. not interested in what we yeah. want. They yeah. don't even listen to us. And it's the same on the other side, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's all sides. They're all like that. Very few are actually any good. And if they do stick yeah. their over the parapet, they're out of the business. <laughs> And that's that's all Keir Starmer's waiting for. Yeah. Boost his bank account. To be fair. Well, I, I think that's a, I think that's a bit unfair. I I I hope that the leaders of our two main political parties are far more uh, will be far more interested in what's going on. Well, you can I bet just if he becomes prime minister, he'll leave a lot richer at the end of it. I well, that's the job. I don't. And if well, anybody it's thinks job. it's not fair, well, not not the job. But that's yeah. one of the consequences. Yeah. And if you think that, then stand for politics. I wish people would stop. Going on about stuff and standing. But you'd for have politics. to join one of those parties and go well, in on it. Well, you start your own party. You know, you're not going to say get anywhere. Patrick, thank you for that. Um, I love this. Uh, here we are. Do you want to read that? Do you want to read that? What were you wearing tonight, James? You look like a tosser. Has Ash dressed you tonight? My dead geography teacher has more dress sense. That's from Andy. Thanks. It's Andy. really nice, isn't it? Yeah. I've, I've never been, been getting so Darby. many. Hang on a minute. It's just uh, getting so many good and nice. Uh, 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 text and uh, these what does Moaning away. Brian know about broadcasting? I bet he hasn't got an MBA for being old. <laughs> um, I have text uh, James and Ash before regarding my mum. Um, oh, she's got brain cancer. Yeah, very sad. Oh, and she passed away last Saturday. Yeah. Well, love to you, yeah. man. Look yeah. after yourself. Yeah. Yeah. The unfortunate thing is you haven't put your name on your. It text. might be if you click on it, but. Yeah. Why do you? Everyone can click on it. You know, anyway. but, um, with his it's, fumble, it's, this could be done. We could go off air now. He's just going to click no, on I've, something. I've, I've got to click could on all it go off air. There you go. There's uh, Stu, yeah. Stu. All right, Stu, look Stu. after yourself. Yeah. OK, uh, are we going to take a break now and Dud- then come back? Steve, oh, Steve Dudley. Steve, hello, hey, Steve. Darby. Dudley, Darby. Dudley. Steve in Dudley, get to the point. Steve. Someone in Dudley. Or Brakey. Yeah. That was...
very good morning. It's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. Hey, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. And we're on your smart speaking. Now, you ain't going to have an eve it, me old Chinas, but a new report is calling for a new definition of cockney. All right, Jeremy, me old China. Rosie. Right, oi, oi, treat go. When J.K. Rowling says, let's just be honest, that's all she's saying, let's just be honest, when a man goes out and kills, we should talk about them as what they are, a biological man. Trans woman, it's not a woman, trans woman is a man. Lee would have to go for much further than his statement. I mean, he did say that he spoke clumsily and he understood the Prime Minister's position, but I think he'd need to say that he'd got it wrong. Then I had a phone call this morning um, from Kim City Council, a lovely woman called Anna. And yeah, I've just received an email just saying um, that, yeah, I'm going to be getting a badge. Quite um, right too. Yay. Quite Yay. right too. It's that time again to get the violins out. That's right. Prince Harry has lost his bid for UK security after moaning he'd been singled out. I might as well be discussing an invasion of Daleks for all I really get this. <laughs> but, but, but I am now on social media having been dragged off my eight pound Nokia, reluctantly kicking and screaming. <laughs> I'm a huge hit on Instagram, as you probably know. What are you doing? I'm just about to do it. Ooh! Ooh! It's carry on <laughs> what just happened. <laughs> Whoa, listen. There was a suggestion by some that maybe it would be nice to put a statue of the Queen on the fourth plinth. Mr. Khan apparently wasn't too keen on that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? I know it's I know it's coming and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> so he suggested alternatives. There's a sweet potato. That's quite a small statue then. Wasn't there also a prostitute? <laughs> oh, <laughs> a trans sex worker. You don't really need one of those in Trafalgar Square. You've just got to walk up to Soho. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do you know this? Because yeah. I know everything. Uh, was he just unlucky getting that question with an ice cream or is it a sign of something more? Seemed like he was on a uh, late night show to attract a young demographic and uh, they put him in an ice cream store. I read the statement this morning from the family. And if any police officer reads that statement, if you don't cry for what you read from what the family is saying, it's heartbreaking, then you shouldn't be a police officer. The UK, I'd say, has lots of racism within it. I don't necessarily think it's a racist country, but it permeates our institutions. Yeah, but for her to say, come out and vote, and by the way, when I was 22 years old and I had an affair with a married man that I knew was married, the feminist failed me. I'm sorry. I think like, the feminist what, did to, fail her. Yeah, we're we're supposed to it was another era. That. She was 22. Mm. We're supposed to have moved on from that. Don't hark back on no. something you did that was wrong. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues. Or the stories that impact your life. Jim, who was on at the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out of the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. Now we're back. Cool. We're back. Yeah. Now this is um, this is. Uh, Hi, Danielle. Review. Will you stop it? You're really for the next show, today. Um, first of all, Chuck. This is Chuck, my producer. This okay. is James, my presenter. He's only answerable answerable to me because I'm the exec. I know you should put yourself down on this as an exec. I am producer. an executive producer. Well, I want to be what's above it, exec. Uh, you producer. would be the head of Talk TV. Okay, well, Key grip. I, I, I don't think although I can go that I think, Although Denny might not want to give you yeah, that job. Yeah, because, you know, I don't think I can handle that. But I don't think show. you've had enough years in the business. No, I think be... I need to go on a bit longer. Yeah. You're right. This is more of an but, apprenticeship for yeah. you. Can you just... Uh, he's got to stop interrupting. I mean, can you... I don't know, interrupt the, you. The viewers I don't, I don't, love yeah, that, yeah, though. They like the They love it. They love yeah, well, I don't, know, because yeah. it gets on my... It's the like Lowell and Hardy. It's the banter. Is it? I mean, imagine if it was just you. Could I not get him in future when we, you know, when we... Do new studios as we always do. Yeah. Could he not go over there? Well, you should be closer, I think, in the new yeah. studio. No, yeah. I don't want to be closer. Oh, really that, that's lovely. This is what closer. the nation loves about you two. So, didn't we have Boy George coming on at some point? No, he's doing the next show. 
Oh, we can't afford that, Boy George. Oh, right, I can okay. see him over there. What's he doing? Yeah, yeah, I thought we had him on this we show. We can't afford him on this show. OK. Uh, so stay tuned, because after this show is... Um, the well, late-night phone-in with Andre George. and oh, right. Danielle not and Boy real. George. So. Not, not woke on what's here. No, we had a week off because Andre went to Glasgow to learn how to box. Oh, That's God. true. Yeah. I'm, He's I'm, really good, actually. He's I'm, natural. I'm sure it probably and is. And the week before, he went to uh, Gaza to prove he was... Which was that he actually felt safe in Gaza. Much. I know. Yeah. OK, right, let's get on with this. There's a bit I hate most to So we're going to talk about TV hell. The These are uh, some of the clips that have caught our eye this week. Now, the first one, you'll enjoy this. So Will this, I? This happened in Wales this week and it okay. went viral. Oh, am I? It's an yeah. old lady. She's 72 years old mm. and she was hoisted. On. That is not... I've got somebody saying, James, can't you treat people, <laughs> old age pensions with That's more fine. respect? There's nothing wrong with being I old. I am an it's old very age old. pensioner. So yeah. is very old. So, so this lady, she was hoisted up into the air mm. by shop shutters. I saw that. Have was you seen so this? funny. Her well, name is yeah, Anne watch, Hughes. Don't spoil it. Gonna... Let's have a look. Roll tape. We could talk over this as well. So funny. So... Let's Certainly. have a look at what's happening. Be very so, careful when you're standing by a shop that's about to close, like this go. lady. So this was in Wales, yeah. and she was standing there waiting for the shop to open. Oh, is it open? Yeah. And as you can yeah. see, she's getting pulled up by the shop shutters. She's got strong pants. And she's screaming, let me down. Yeah. And eventually the shopkeeper hears, hears her, comes uh, running out. He does and, come running out. And that's saves good. her life. Oh, she gosh. should be advertising the look, trousers she's yeah, wearing, because they're very strong trousers. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I, mean, I, felt, I felt so sorry for her when I first saw it. And then I felt really bad about laughing. Well, no, so, Just, yeah. so Anne is quite famous now, she's and she's been doing star. interviews all week, and she loves it. She I'm loves... Sure. So that's why we're making fun of it. Why didn't we get she's her She's famous on? now. She charges too We much. can't afford her. Yeah. And Hughes from Wales. She's oh, a bit We're like not A-list. Piers Morgan and, and Censor, She's like we? the new Lady Gaga now. She is. Yeah. Mm. All right, next and up... And she's not old. I wanted to talk about Mother's Day, because obviously Mother's Day is tomorrow, oh, also yeah. known as Mothering Sunday. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if we had a little song to celebrate the right. fact that it's Mother's Day tomorrow? Do you remember Mr T? Yeah. I do. He was in the A-team. B.A. Baracus in mm. the Well, in the 80s, he released a single dedicated to his mother. I think I remember. Let's have a look. Mother, there is no other like mother, so treat her right. Mother, I always love her. My mother, so treat her right, treat her right. Every soul moan and a miserable groan from the pain that she felt when I was born. Always for the oven with this burning heat. Where she stood making sure I had something to eat. You could mix that with the rail wrap and you do a... I was thinking oh, that. Yeah. That's pretty good, yeah. We should try that next yeah. week. Do you remember yeah. any of the whale I, rap? Um, no. Every now from it's 10 to 1. Well, it's it's on, on the for fun. The invention of rap. That was the other one. Um, um, but I thought I was OK. I it's all right, isn't it? No, I didn't. So that's something for all the mothers who are watching today. They they could enjoy that. They could sit down tomorrow. Did you know what I did? Unfortunately, it's my wife's birthday today. Happy birthday, yeah. darling. I forgot to say happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy Lady birthday, W. Happy birthday, best yeah. lady in She there. won't be watching. Well, I, I thought I'd buy her something silly. Mm. I mean, I did, you know, I took her out for dinner. Yeah, yeah. So, but I thought I'd buy something silly. So I bought what I thought online was best mother in the... Be, best wife in the world yeah. or something like that. You really messed up. And I hit the wrong button and yeah. I bought a... Breast grandmother. Not best, best, though, not breast, breast grandmother. Oh, best, sorry. That would have been good. That would have been best more grandmother true, in the world. But, but is she the best grandmother? Well, I don't know. No, she's not a grandmother. She's not a grandmother. Oh, she's not a grandmother? No. Well, she's definitely not the best grandmother. But also, he's ordered it on subscription. He's getting 20 every week now <laughs> for the next four years. Anyway, um, moving on. Now, yesterday, last night, you appeared on Mike Graham's new show, Nove Island, knows. and you went viral. Do you know why you went viral? I didn't know. No. He made fun of Carol Vorderman. Oh, he's an well, old mate I, of Carol's. I know Carol quite well. And, I snogged um, her sister. You said she was a nasty something. Let's have a look. Yeah, I didn't Nasty yeah. and horrible yes. and spiteful. Right. Um, she yeah, hates the Tories. Yeah, she dealt with a vengeance. Like, really hates them. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, and I wonder why. And yeah. I keep thinking of calling her and saying... Would you like to come and meet a couple so of people? So you didn't MPs say what we I just saw you have, saying is what you're saying. He didn't call her a nasty, horrible woman, no. except when he did. That was he, AI. He edited Jay. that. You're just in scared such that Carol's way. coming after you. No, no, I'm not bothered, but if she does. You edited that. I said, you know, some people think and blah, blah, blah. I think blah, you care too you much what people think of you. I do care a lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. No, when you see, by the way, this is good training. When you see clips uh, on social media, don't take them as gospel. 
because they can change my my oh gosh I'll... but he did say it mm. all right finally celebrity big brother is back this week and everybody's yep. talking about it gary uh bushel Ga- no not gary bushel who's Shandling. the uh i love gary Shandling. Yeah. no the the grand the grand the the uncle of Kate oh, he's out, he's out now. Gary, he, Gary, he was kicked out last was night. Was he kicked out? He was kicked out yeah. last I night. I am so pleased. Um, and it got us thinking about Celebrity Big Brother from the past when it was much better. Yeah. And obviously you were in the Big Brother house. You loved yeah. every second of it. And That's... here you are having a big argument with everyone else. What we need are a few rules and regulations. As in, don't talk about nominations, James. And what we need is a little democracy, is it not? And so maybe we ought to have a meeting and decide who should be in charge. That, that is, that it's is just, just that so is just stupid. <laughs> We've all got to vote someone. It doesn't mean we don't like them. No, but excuse me, even if you, even if you, whatever Bill Gould has said, you don't just say that. We are seeing anarchy. And anarchy will ensue without rules and regulations. You're... It's a microcosm of life. He is an absolute, I'm sorry to use my language, but he's an absolute dickhead. That's where the breakdown of society began. An dickhead. Who yeah. was that woman who called me an absolute That was Syra Khan. She's Ever heard of her? Speaks a lot of sense. She used to be your co-host on Talk Radio, I think, before Ash. No, she wasn't. Yeah, I think she was. No. Oh, no, hang on. That wasn't Syra Khan. That, that was Eamon. No. Eamon. Oh, Eamon Holmes. That, that was Eamon Holmes. Very similar. Yeah, 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 Syra yeah. Khan was one of the first voted out. Well, who's that, that then? I don't know. I can't <laughs> I thought that was, yeah. I don't know how... I mean, Bear, who was in there, I had to yes. deal with him. And he went um, to prison, And he's he? in prison, isn't he? I think yeah. he's just... Hi, Mayor, uh, probably happy listening. G, he's not allowed um, around anymore. So before yeah. we get back to calls, we just wanted to talk about, obviously, the fact that we're going on YouTube. Everybody's mm. asking what the future of Talk TV is, and basically, we're, we're staying the same. Mm. Everything you love about Talk TV will continue, <laughs> Ooh, but you'll just be able to watch yeah. us on YouTube. Which a lot of you already are. Yeah. yeah. So if you've got YouTube on your phone... Or on your laptop, or even on your smart TV, you just click on because YouTube, thousands and thousands of people watching there and listening there. Yeah, and uh, our competitors who are very upset, not upset, thinking, "Oh, it's a demise of talk TV." No, and talk it's radio. still on. I can assure you, it's not. It's the next but the stage. Other, the interesting thing is that I compare linear TV, which is where, and not many people watch on linear TV no. now. No. no young people at all. It's like no, saying right, on, a, on radio. It's like saying. Shall we go back to medium wave? Yeah. It's like saying, let's buy a record and you, you go out and get a gramophone. Yeah. Whereas now it's all, you know, you listen to your music on Spotify, you watch talk TV yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. You, you don't so need we're any not going channel, anywhere. Either. I wouldn't want to be selling radios and I wouldn't want to be selling cameras. Yeah. Well, you have radio because... rentals. But yes. as a place on the high street, you actually had to go to rent a well, television. Well, Rumbelows. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I still go. There's one Rumbelows yeah. behind me at home. And you can get it on your big TV in the... In the you can if you've got a smart YouTube. TV, you can get YouTube watch on Watch it on there. your yeah. iPad on anything, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. And Why Piers is there done? now, Piers Morgan and Censored. You can watch That's lots right. of uh, yeah. Joe Rogan. And there'll be all sorts of other yeah. stuff as well. Good. OK. Should we um, do calls? I thought we had another clip, which no, would that's, embarrass that's me. No, that is it. There's no more time for it. You haven't seen the one of me doing... Pole dancing, have you? No. Good. We don't want to see Good. that. No. Does Nadine have that? Can would you? No, no. ITV put it out on a, on a clip the <laughs> other day about some that. of these clips, and it's. You um, want us to show it, don't you? That's why you. No, want, because yeah, people want, people have actually it. edited themselves into a little. Mm. What do they call them? A gif or something? Yeah. Of me going back oh, and forth on the. Oh, you never actually yeah, did yeah, that. Yeah, like that clip that never. No, no, no. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. It's lovely to have you on the show. So we have a caller. Uh, Steve in Derby. Should we go going back there and Have get... we had him on already? Steve in Derby, hi. Hi, uh, I'd just like to say that um, I'd love to see you in politics, James, but I know, you are, but I know you are poorly, but I'd love to see Ash's MP. Yeah. I, I, well, know, I, I agree. agree. There's, there's always, the, always the yeah. possibility, Stevie, we could do that. Thank very you. Very likely, actually. I'm only rushing because we're... You, I think you talk a lot of sense. Thank you very much, no when to leave Unfortunately, them. we're running right out of time. Uh, Bob Robert. In, Bob in Bristol. Robert. Bob. Hello. Yes, Robert, what can we do for you? All right, Bob. Uh, hi, James. Hi, Ash. Uh, I would just like, just, uh, I saw Richard Tice on GB News Never heard the of other him. night. He, <laughs> was, he was talking to uh, Patrick Christmas. Never heard of him. And he, sa- and yeah. he, he said that... Why would I be interested the- in another channel? 
Why do you want to come on here and shut up? It's very hurtful. Why do you want to come on here and start promoting another channel? It's very hurtful, Bob. Very hurtful. No, no, I mean, Ash no, and I could go no, home no, very tearful. You've ruined the show at the end. You've ruined yeah, it with you, everybody. You've, you, you've upset us you've terribly. Upset us, look upset what you've us terribly. Now, <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Honestly, Bob. I'm not having that. He really knows what. Anyway, so push. Richard Tice was on the other night, probably telling everybody they should vote for whatever party he's watch leader. Talk TV. He was probably yeah. saying. Yeah. Um, right. We come to the end of the show. And Look at this coming beautiful up in a, dress. in a moment, what is going on? Lovely <laughs> suntan. Have you been out a country again, have you? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I, I'm doing my impression of a highlighter pen. It really goes it's with good. the tan, doesn't it? It's really a contrast, <laughs> isn't it? That bright. I it's love very it. good. I used to have socks like that back in the 80s. Can you calm down? I know. It's Can you calm down? Trendy, he has been... I can't. He's flying on something. I have no idea That's what right. it is today. It's really... Do you have this trouble when you, you do a show with him? I've never done a show with him. We've done little bits and pieces, but never... But not off. No. Show He's no. beginning. Yeah. It'd be too yeah. good. Give I'm it thinking, time, Ash. Give it time. No, it well, no, he now. hasn't got any time. I'm thinking of losing him. <laughs> <laughs> so if I lose him, I might have to look for somebody else. Oh, I'll do Would it. Would you like yeah, to do it? Yeah, 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 I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it with yeah, you, James. See, absolutely no sort of, um, you know, she'll take your job. Yeah, no problem. Oh, I know. Oh, Rufus. Yeah. What I'm, have you got I on am, your, how this business works. your late night phoning with Andre? Well, we've got to have the lovely Liam Richardson. Yeah. I thought Liam was coming on the show. He's boy George, basically. Liam something else, isn't it? Who is Liam? Liam, anyway? Anyway, big Liam, the scale she's, got, she's got a book, she writes oh, everything. It, the guy you went to school with I or said, something. I said Richardson, I meant Halewood, um, who's of course a by judge. Um, but this is a fun one. We'll be talking to the uh, pro Palestinian protester who damaged the painting. He damaged, Are you allowed to say that? He damaged what? You don't on who the to The painting hang up. damaged him. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, so you're going to have them on, so that's good. You can have a chat with them. Yeah. I'm sorry, who are, you, who are you talking the about? The person what? who slashed the Lord um, Balfour. So we're going to get the story. Let's not slag her off because they won't go on the show, so we won't okay. be rude about them yeah. now. You can be rude if you want, maybe, when okay. you have a chat. What else you got on? Um, oh, I don't. We, do you know what? We fly by the seat of our pants. You just pants, haven't planned Ash. anything, have we, you? We, 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 That's we listen. just, who knows? Stay who tuned knows? for the Flexi late night format. phone in. It'll be great <laughs> because you'll be able to carry on phoning in and having a chat. And they won't Hopefully have to Bob put up, up with again. this, yeah, who talks Ring, nonsense the and whole time. And big gay Wayne who went you, to Blackpool you know, broke his arm. That, you see, I'm getting fed up with this. I'm going to go back to the yeah, calls. Cool, yeah. um, Anthony, are you there? Yes, I am, Chief. Yeah, I am, guys. How are you doing? Good. What can we do for you? Nothing. I just 